There we go. Fuck it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Shake Up. Oh, man. Another Saturday show. Fuck it. Hey. I don't even get paid for overtime. Let's see. I am just sitting down, so I got to get set up here. Send over my forms. Let's see, golf streaming a bit of aqueduct today. Should be getting those. All right. Grab this. Let's grab my forms. Don't switch. Bentley, you sound like you're having a heart attack over there. See, golf stream and aqueduct today. <coughs> oh. See, aqueduct. Let's see what is it down there. Oh, aqueduct first race looks like I'm not interested. All right. I think I'm almost set up. be live right now. Usually I'm not sitting by myself this long. Let's see, am I live? Usually someone chats at me before this. Holy shit. Scotty must be on. Maybe Scotty's on. I better I better uh, tune in myself so I can get a single viewer. What the Let's see, did I did I say something bad yesterday? Did I get canceled? Maybe I got canceled. Uh oh, maybe I got canceled. Oh, there's some people go. I was worried. I was scared. <laughs> What's up, Blue Ken? Charles, we thought you took your talent and went to another show, man. We thought maybe you started your new new uh show. What's up? There we go. Okay, we got the people coming in. Uh, Gulfstream and Aqueduct. Gulfstream and Aqueduct. It was it was a toss toss up between Woodbine Churchill and Aqueduct. See, I did. I did Woodbine. I think I. I think, I think I did Woodbine Tuesday. Yeah, or Woodbine. We did a, a night show on Thursday, so I did Woodbine and Churchill that day. Yesterday I did Churchill and Gulfstream. So I, I guess maybe that's why I did Aqueduct. I, Gulfstream and or not Gulfstream. Uh, Churchill and Aqueduct right now is the same to me. They're both. They're both just now starting. They ran earlier this year, and I'm not going to call it Belmont. Fuck it, it's at Aqueduct, it's Aqua, Aqueduct uh, profile. I don't really care who's running the track. I don't care if someone's paying Trent rent and they're running it. I, I don't even get why they're uh, calling the form. Now, we, we've, been, we've been doing good, you know. Kentucky Downs, we were able to use, I, I know it's a six-day meet, but we were able to use uh, last year's report to help us there. 
you know, Saratoga, we got off and running right off the bat using last year's bias report. So we'll just do what we always do. We'll look, we'll look at New York. I got, I got yesterday's result. I, I, I thought I was going to get up. I, 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 I had, uh, I didn't have as much stuff to, as marked as I had today. So I thought I was going to get up and chart my races so I could get an idea of what Aqueduct was doing yesterday. But when I looked at my form, I, I had to spend my time uh, marking up form. Let's see, Bluekin says uh, Woodbine's been good to him. Yo, what's up? What? what? Expressing a poor uh, opinion is like pissing in the wind, Paul. I don't. I don't get what that's from. Oh, is that is that just a joke? What I said? Maybe you went and did your own show. You, dude, we we know on this show, on this show, when when the host says he's only going to hit twenty percent of the races he plays, and he's good with that, and he can make a living off of that. I don't even care that much about poor opinions. I don't hold anyone to poor opinions. I think it's worse when you're uh, making uh, bad bets with bad math. But other than that, shit, I'm supposed to be, tr we're supposed to be trying to beat chalks and get outside of the box and all that. So, fuck, a poor opinion with horse racing, those go hand in hand. What's up, JW? But maybe, maybe that was a joke over there. And we know Charles been hot. Charles, Charles is a good handicapper, so I, I know he's overall don't, don't believe that about himself. <laughs> Charles is sh uh, sharp. Charles, I got I got this thing that I'm uh, working out right here over at the edge. I don't know if you've been here since I've uh, I've only used this to, for two shows, but it's helping me uh, do the odds line a lot a whole lot faster. So if you're wondering what the new graphic, uh, you know, we, we uh, on the shakeup, we had a million dollar budget and that's what we built. <laughs> that's what we built today. Joe, I'm doing another undercrown three days in a row on that undercrown blue label. Oh, you're doing a brick house. Let's see, I do want to take a look uh, at the form real quick yesterday just to see if I think anything. And, and let me pull out uh, Aqueduct's bias report from not last year, but earlier in the year. But we know from like uh, Keelan, you know, they run the fall and the spring meet. Sometimes the track plays completely different from meet to meet, you know, makes sense. Different time of the year, different weather. Sometimes they run the same. Sometimes they run different. But I still like to get my grasp on it. Let's see what Aqueduct is. Kind of speeding stalkers on the dirt sprints. Maybe first six post positions, but that could be because they have short fields. I don't, I don't remember what the fields fields were last year. Mostly speed and stalkers. Let's see. Uh, dirt routes, speed and stalkers. Oh, closers were really bad on the dirt routes. Only 11% of the horses won from five out, five uh, back or farther. Turf sprints, they don't run many, but the, uh, let's see, post positions were pretty fair, but mostly speed and stalkers there also, speed and stalkers. And then for uh, turf routes, speed was bad. 21% is not great. I'd be fading uh, speed. And then now I just want to look and see what they did yesterday, seeing, seeing if that fit into what they did yesterday. Whoop. I hate hitting that ad. That ad at the top of the page. I hate hitting that. 
Let's see. Belmont at the Big A. Really? They, they really got to put that in there? It's a fucking Big A. They used to do that at Carter. Tropical meat, this meat. They used to do that at Carter, too. Oh, no, it's a completely different meat. Uh, such and such is running it. Really? Completely different meat? I see they did go wire to wire on a turf route yesterday, but the clock, wow, can no one, can, what, what, it, what is with racing where no one, how are the times not available? How, how, how can track after track just keep mistiming races? Let's see, dirt, that went wire to wire, wire to wire, turf sprint, wire to wire. Turf route, a close stock, so maybe speed wasn't that bad yesterday on the turf routes. Stalking on the dirt, stalking on the dirt. Turf sprint, a close stalker. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it's going today. The dirt looks like just speeding stalkers to me. The turf route is the question mark. Let's see. Let's get my video. I should be all set up. Let's see. Charles says Aqueduct not impressed so far with how the card looks. Worried about a Irad show. I hope not. Or if it is, I hope I just uh, don't have anything. One, one way or another, I don't care. I mean, I'd rather play, but. Sitting out is a skill, too, so let's see. Who else is in here? Joe, oh, Joe smoking the brick house. Omar, what's up? Jeffrey born now. Uh, is depressed. Had a $5 uh, pick three last Saturday. Oh, man, you got to cheer up. It was last Saturday. How bad was it? Oh, with a $32 horse in the middle leg. And a grass horse named Gunfo, key the last. He went off at two to five and lost by a nose. Cost you seven hundred. Seven hundred's a nice hit. Come on, you can't be depressed for a whole week, man. We can't have you depressed this a whole week. Hopefully, you go uh, make make that up and more today. You can make that up and more today. All right, the great thing about racing, man, you can you can win a little. You can win, well, you some people can win a little with a lot of money, but you're supposed to try to win a lot with a little. And horse racing is one of the few. Well, I don't know. What one of the games that you don't have to be right often, and you can still uh, make up. Ah, but let's get looking at this. Let's see. We got the big budget uh, betting machine over here. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. All right. I am slow. You guys know I got to get my uh, head in the game. I can't even do math. That would make 10 horses in this race. So, you know, I'm trying to do as many betting lines as I can. And why does that look wrong? The math is definitely wrong there. Why? Oh, I'm putting him in the wrong spot. All right, I got to get my shit together. Nine to one. 
I do my betting lines at 120%. So if you guys are new to the show, welcome. But when I do a betting line, I do it at 120%. I like to just, uh, before handicapping, just see what random is. That's just giving every horse an equal chance. Uh, uh, getting my set point of uh, how many points each horse starts with and roughly uh, where their odds should be. So right now, without any handicapping, if all you do is come in here and bet, most people would say, do the safe thing, play the chalks, play with their betting. I would say do the math thing and at least demand nine to one or more, but we, we're able to handicap. What's up, Steamboat? Gregory Ross. So we're going to get started. Let's see, we got a Tapita, and we know that Tapita, we don't like speed. The only time we're worried about speed is if the pace is super slow. First thing we like to glance at is just to make sure that we think there's enough speed. You know, we want to avoid that uh, 25 and 50 pace that uh, is a pace that they are capable of, of wiring. Let's see, five so far looks like the only horse with a speed. Seven got a little bit of speed. It, it would be nice to have at least one more horse that I can count on. Maybe the eight being uh, running a couple sprints, maybe he can add some speed. Maybe the nine, maybe the 10, but those are okay. The 11 should be able to add a little bit of speed. Erin, what's up, Lloyd? Yeah, Lloyd, that was a nice call on that 57 to 1 shot that ran second or 47 to 1. I wish you would have ran him down instead of the seven. But still, nice call. Uh, we are going to get started. Let's see. Four races ago, inside stock and closing day on this one horse. I gave him an asterisk that race. He was decently fast there, too. That yeah, was at a sprint. Comes back, stalking, stalking closing day at a route three races ago. Average, average, average. That's kind of the running style I'm looking for, though. Two races ago, stalking closing day, average, 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 and last race, stalking day, average, average, average. Doing a nice job getting in position at the top of the stretch. What's up, Tom Higgins? Oh, thank you, man. I'm glad you finally, if you guys are new and been enjoying the show, please jump in the chat room and let us know you guys are out there. Trust me, it does a lot for me. If for Dude, I, I get sometimes when I just want to quit the show, I say I'm not growing or uh, stagnant, you know, other than I like hanging out with people. But, you know, I also get some abuse that I don't need uh, kind of deal. I, I always appreciate the new people that are, you know, learning or thinking about maybe not even learning, just thinking about the game dif uh, differently or just enjoy using the chat room and just hearing someone uh, try to handicap. I, I do appreciate it, and it helps me with my uh, state about do I want to keep doing a show. I've been I've been doing a show for about four years, three, four years now. You know, I knew it was going to be small on YouTube, but uh, I definitely appreciate hearing that, Tom. Let's see the two horse. Very hard for me to like either of those running lines. After two races, it's kind of hard to call him a, a running style, but, you know, we got to go with what we see. He's, he's dropping in class, but really hard for me to get to him. Ah, I got to set up my damn pin. I hate it when I mark with that stupid green. He, he is dropping in class. He, he ran against a couple biases, but... Uh, I'm, I don't, I think I'm going to be hard on him. Now, 
the reason why I'm doing, and, and if you guys are new, the reason why I'm doing betting lines is, look, everyone can pick winners. Everyone sucks at picking winners. You know, I, I strive to the thing. It's not a joke to me. I believe uh, good handicappers probably hit about 20 to 30% of the races they play. You know, so that's going to prove that everyone sucks at picking winners. They, we just do. The, the hardest way to get better in this game is trying to improve your hit rate. The easiest way to improve the, your, at this game is improving your average mutual. So the reason why I do a betting board, it helps me make the decision. It's being responsible and looking at the math. I, I'm not capable of doing it all the time. Uh, sometimes I take too long, which I am right now. But value is in the handicappers. You know, we all do look at the races a little bit different. You know, you want to build your betting line on how you see the races, weighing the factors that you see important in the way that you're trying to aim your bets. Good handicappers can see a race to race completely different as other good handicappers. You know, uh, now if your opinion sucks, you'll be weeded out and you'll just, uh, you know, you'll just suck. But if, if you're if you're a content or decent handicapper, you pay attention to math. You could definitely get better. Let's see, but I am going to be hard on this too. Let's see, and I'm I got to be really hard on him because we got a uh, what we got a ten horse field. That means everyone starts at. Is my thing wrong again? This got mixed up. That formula got mixed up. Everyone starts at a 12% here. Or maybe roughly 13. I'm going to have to fix that. So I am going to be hard on this uh, two horse, and I got to speed it up. No, 200% means he's going to win this race. Uh, he's going to be able to go around twice to each horse's once and still wins 100% of the races. Let's see, three's kind of what I'm looking for. Now I really got to speed up. I got totally distracted. Four looks pretty ugly, but four scratched. I'm always behind in the first race, so. Five, I don't think speed's doing good. I'm really going to have to go fast here. Let's see, six kind of fits. Seven got super nice marks. Man, I'm I'm really getting a. Uh... But I just don't think that they're going wire to wire. The more horses uh, that are in the race, it forces you to be a lot harder. Like you gotta, you gotta hate them more. Holy shit! I got three horses at about two to one. You know, fuck it. Let's rock with it. I don't know. I feel pretty discombobulated. This might not be the best. Uh... <laughs> All right. Let's see. So I gave the one, the three, and I guess one, three, and six are my top choice here. Uh, I got them both at just under two to one. Let's let's just call that two to one. It's fair value. I like to get overpaid. So the one is technically an overlay. Uh, I could go with the one. Let's see, three. Three is a huge overlay. Wait a minute. Three I'm going to be priced in no matter what, even if I'm wrong about that. And, and even if I'm wrong about that, you know, when you think about odds, if I'm saying a horse has 
you know, if the horse runs off the track, I'm also saying that the horse uh, loses this race, what, 66% of the time, and he only wins 34% of the time. Six is bet right on the board, so I can do something with the one and the three. Obviously, the three is the best part of what I'm looking at. Let me let me just, because I was pretty quick with what I was doing, let, let me just make sure I'm really there. You know what? I don't mind the three. He has the right running style. I, I am going to be priced into this bet. Three with the one, six, but three is 16 to one. I want to go. I can even go wider here. Let me get that win ticket in right now. I'm, I'm going to bet the three and the one. I, I'm going to do those key boxes right now, the three with the one six. Forcing the three to get uh, first or second. Let's see, I got three to win. But I wanted to even get one with three with the uh, 11, the seven. And the five. Will I be able to get that in? Was that five, seven, eleven? Five, seven, eleven, I think I said. I hope that was the five. I played this one for more. Got it some more there, but uh, play that one for less. And I got three and one to win. What's up, Blair? Oh, man, am I on the human acre again? I might be on the human acre again, am I? I am on the human acre. Didn't he just win for me at a big uh, double-digit price not too long ago? Oh, we got that pace, that 24-4 and four pace. I thought there was enough... I thought there was enough speed in this race not to get that 24-4. and four. I was, I'm always worried when they're uh, about 25-50. I think I need to be worried because three's way back there. Come on, one. I, I can at least root for the one. One gets me back some. Shit, one ain't got shit. 49 and three. This horse is re-breaking. I'm in big trouble. It's not even close how bad a trouble I am in. Come on, one, get up there. Nope, two, two, two uh, if anyone's going to win this, it's going to be the eight. Come on, one. Uh, I don't think I won that photo. Fuck, bombs away. I did not like the eight. I thought there was going to be a lot more speed, but he did get that uh, 24 and four. I agreed with the public. I thought he should. I, I gave him a 2% chance. I guess 2% rolled today. Uh, I thought 49 to 1 was fair value. I agreed with that betting board on him.
Oh, the one going off at two to one. I would not have bet that. The one going off at two to one. I thought I was getting seven to two there. I would have bet the three, though. I, I would have probably, if I didn't bet the one, I would have bet a little bit more on the three even. I got no problem with bombs away, but uh, I didn't. Well, they're not going to go that slow. I, I guess that pace just did not develop. Three came late, but the pace was slow. Who was a two up there? Who was a two up there? All right, I'm going to miss my first bet of the day, but I warned you guys that. I had, to, I had to put in some losing bets yesterday because I started off yesterday going uh, two out of three races. So I had to put in some losing bets because if I stopped uh, if I stopped yesterday, that means I would have lost my first seven races in a row here to be hitting at 20%. Come on, typical golf stream race. Fuck, dude, you're supposed to get excited seeing a 50 to 1 shot win. That's absolutely beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. We hit those fucking horses. We didn't hit that one, but fuck. All right, I want to check this formula. Where's my formula bar? One hundred divided All right. So that formula is right. There's no formula here. What was what was the formula supposed to be here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten horses in Oh. Alright, that is right. That is right. Brady ready to get some of that aqueducta revenge. What's up, Jevin? Why did, why the hell did that, uh, okay, I want to look at this race to see why I, the pay, why, why I, uh, I thought there was enough speed to get what I needed. Let me see. I just want to go back and look at this. Let's see, I thought that the five horse had speed. He didn't fire at all. He didn't fire at all. I don't even think, I don't even remember seeing the five anywhere. I wonder if something happened there. I mean, even last race, he had a terrible finish, but that was a sprint, and he even tried to get the lead at the sprint. I thought he'd at least have speed to the first call. Wow, he didn't fire at all. I thought it, I thought it was pretty safe to say that the seven was going to lead. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to watch that replay. I don't remember seeing anyone. Let's see. The eight horse got the lead right away. I was hard on him because I thought that, but man, I, I would have thought the seven or the five would have ran with them. I 
I could see why the nine didn't. I mean, the nine, I was just hoping because he ran some sprints. But he he's not fast uh, in the sprints, but sometimes they're closer. I was hoping the same way with the 10. Well, I, I would have just thought, I, I was really counting on the seven or the nine, or the seven and the five to go also. If either one of them goes a little bit, it's going to be a little bit faster. And I think uh, I think the one probably would have been a winner. Or maybe the two would have got him just depending. The race would have been different. Put it this way. The race would have been different. I think they would have came off the pace because the uh, eight horse was barely able to beat the one going slow up front. Let's see, Charles is already saying, worst pace, go lead, holds. Wait, worst pace, go lead, holds on nobody. <laughs> oh, my God, Charles, I'm reading, I can't read your comment. Can handicap that you just have to, oh, you just have to know who's cheating. What's up, Rex? Rex says you can't, dude. Rex, come on, guys. I've been, I've been, I've been crushing fucking golf stream for years. I've, been <laughs> dude. If they're cheating, please just keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing, golf stream. I don't want no investigation at golf stream whatsoever. I, I want no investigations over there. If you guys are using drugs, if you guys are fixing races, if you guys got the uh, evil collation of uh, fixing all the races, please, what, whatever you guys doing, it's been working for me for the last, I don't know, five, six years. Please keep it up. Yeah, Javin, uh, changes are, are, are also good. I, I like going with excuses more, but anything at these levels. I mean, this horse did run against the stalking day first time out. He did get an asterisk. Uh, he did earn a heart two races ago. Fuck, we say, you know, I say it a hundred fucking times. Heart horses are supposed to either either improve their, get a big bump speed figure wise, or they win within three races or, or their heart's no good. You know, then he goes and run a turf race that's not available. So I, I got no problem with him winning. I'm, I, my biggest problem is just why didn't the speed duel develop? Let's see. I want to see. Here's here's the replay. That's my problem. I have no problem that this horse won. Let's see. Seven did try to go to lead. Seven did go to lead. So, okay. He went to lead. He wasn't good enough. Five. Five is dead last. I was counting on five to be up there, too. Okay. So, so the speed duel... They just had three horses across the track and the pace was, or two horses across the track and the pace was just slow. You know, eight's a lightly raced horse. He's also a lightly raced horse. Lightly, I got no, I got no problem with this. Cheating, whatever. I got no problem with his results. I, I wish that I could have made. You know, I could have with the heart, but I'm 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 not a big believer in them going wire to wire. He technically stalked, but that was pretty close to going wire to wire. You know, shit, the the, the terrible old handicapping books. Uh, everyone know the Lasix. Uh, first time on Lasix uh, angle. I don't like it, but shit, I got no problem with this fucking horse winning. In fact. the horses that I use. I used all the hard horses but him. I used the 11. I used the 7. I used the 5. 
All of those were speed horses because I liked the 9 to 1. I was king off the 9 to 1 closer. Dude, in a way, I'm, I'm wondering why I didn't have this uh, 8 on there because I said I was playing all the speed horses. He, he earned a heart and he got speed. You know, with that closer three, it would have still that would have still been a losing ticket. But that's the thought that I was doing on the smaller ticket right here. These were the, these were the three closers that I liked. The three horses coming off the pace, and this was the ticket if uh, the closer uh, ran first or second at the big price. Those were the speed horses, not the one in the six. I was trying to hit the one in the six on both tickets, but you know the five to seven and eleven. So I, I kind of had the right thing in mind. Bad execution, actually. So I have absolutely no problem with that horse uh, freaking winning, really. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I was really questioning why didn't it the seven? The seven was actually up there. I did see that in the replay. The seven just wasn't good enough. Eight was better. I was hoping that they would be really getting a faster pace. It was on the slower side, 24 and 4. I think they did speed it up at the second call. I think the second call they went 49 and 3. Let's see. I don't have to go to Aqueduct because I think we still got time from Aqueduct. I'm going to write blank there so I know where to put that uh, horse at. Uh, we'll, look, we'll look at the second race at Gulfstream. I, I know that first race at Aqueduct, it's probably not for a while. It's probably not for a while. Oh, 17 minutes. What, why do I got... I don't want Gulfstream. Or no, I, I don't want Churchill up there. I just want Belmont and Aqueduct. No, I want Belmont and Gostrim. What? I'm I'm slow today. I woke up late today, and I'm I'm like on uh, I'm on slow Joe mode. But Aqueduct, uh, let me just make sure that first race. I'm pretty sure that first race was just a two year old baby race with uh, a whole bunch of first timers. That's exactly what Aqueduct is. I got no upside in that race. There's one horse that I see with some interesting marks. Other than that. I was going to say nine's the only. Uh... Nine puts me in that spot where I do like the marks on the nine. He just ran with the two to five favorite. He had better front speed than the two to five favorite. The two to five favorite had a better finish. At seven to one, the nine's a little bit tempting here. Obviously, I want nothing to do with the two to five. Obviously, everyone else is a first time starter. Nine's the only spot I can get to there. I don't, I don't have to do any handicapping. It's just, do I, am I, am I going to be happy with whatever price the nine is? And it's just hard for me to know uh, what price the nine, like I can't, like a lot of people would say, hey, seven to one is a fair price. Seven to one is a great price. Seven to one is a bad price. And then you'll ask them, well, what do you think about the rest of the field? Well, I don't really understand the rest of the field. And it's, you know, my question to them is how do you really know that that's supposed to be the right price in your head? You're, you're kind of just going, yeah, 7 to 1 looks good, and that's kind of like where I'm at with him.
You know, it's so much easier when you got when you're able to understand most of the contenders or, you you know, we're going to be wrong a lot. But it's better when you feel like you understand most uh, most of the dangers. And with so many first timers, everyone's danger. Let's say I'm going to go to Gostrom. I'm going to try to work on that race. Let's see. Thad likes the eight over there at Churchill. Blair, what's up, Blair? Blair likes the first time starter. He got a 4 6 10. And if you guys are hearing me saying I don't like this race, I'm not telling people, you know, people are good at those uh, two year old races and uh, first time starters. I just know my skill set is not. There is a four to five in this race. Let's see. We got seven horses. All right. Let's see. I started off the show on the weak side. So let, let's get this and prove that I can do it fast like I was doing yesterday. Let's see. Seven horses. Everyone starts at about 13%. Why does that look wrong to me? Wait a minute. I think I messed up a column there. I messed up a column there. God damn it. I spent a million dollars for this. <laughs> I spent a million dollars on this development. I think I know what I did. <laughs> Hold up, I want to get this right because uh, I got I to gotta figure out how to lock those cells. So every once in a while, I've been putting uh, things in the wrong thing. This should be number of horses. Seven. This equals 120 divided by seven. That's the starting odds. And then 17% is roughly a little bit around 9 to 2, a little bit over. To, uh, that's right, right there. That's what I messed up. Okay, I, I thought I could fix, fix that fairly quick. I know, man. It seemed like it was so much better yesterday and I messed it up somehow. Boulder, what's up, man? <laughs> Boulder said that was a great ride. Uh, ride my uh, million dollar studio and uh, my uh, development over there. <laughs> great buy, great buy, great buy.
All right, let's let's get started. All right, we got seven furlongs on the dirt over here. Six thousand. Let's say four races go bad rail, average, average, slow on the one. Eh. Three races go early pressing day, average, slow, slow, right running style. Uh. Two races go inside of the track, uh, had its best finish on the inside of the track, still average match strides with the slowest winner, slow. Not wow, five to two. I'm not jumping out of my seat on him right now. I am looking for speed and stalkers. I say two just looks like a stalker at the best, but looks like he's more going to be a closer, but is making a nice class drop. Big class drop, actually. Three has absolutely no speed. And I'm looking for speed and stalkers. Last race inside of the track was good. Uh, didn't really fire there. Let's say four got a little bit of speed. Not crazy about his last race. Average, average, slow, slow at a route. If you're a sprinter, you're supposed to at least be able to run for the first uh, quarter or two. Quarter to a half. Wow, this, this race is really lacking speed. In fact, only the one and the two has any. Or no, only the one and the four has any. These horses are ugly. If you own one of these horses in the race, sorry. But I'm I'm I play this game as a gambler, not necessarily a guy that wants pretty horses on his t-shirt. Do I want to stop right there or do I want to weigh this a little bit different? I got three horses left. I kind of think the one, two, and four has the best chance here. Let's see. I'm not really interested. Even if the two wins, he's over bet. The most I'm going to have him as at about 33% with the big class drop. I don't really like his running style. At least 28% on the one and the four. I'd be more interested in both of them. So two, one, and four are the horses that I think are the most likely winners. One's a little bit of an overlay, not a ton. Four's offering a pretty big price at an overlay, and two is just plain old overbet. I might try to force this four to get first or second. And uh, I'm really questioning his form, but I only think the four or the one could get the lead. I kind of think whoever gets the lead here should have a pretty big advantage. Let me see what kind of bets I can work out. So I can definitely do the four to win. One and two uh, key boxed with the four, forcing the four to be first or second. Could I do some tries here? Is there a reason to do a one, two, one, two, and then just say if that bad exact to come in? Bet the only horses that can help that out. Could possibly do that. Trifectas, you guys know I don't play that much. 
I'm trying to expand my game, but at the same time, I'm kind of learning about what to do and when to do it. Let's see. Four gets first or second. I like that. If four wins, I like the win ticket. I think there's a fairly good shot. I'm, you're always best when you're betting when you hate the favorite and not going to use it. This is a situation where I actually like the favorite. But the combination with the exact is just aren't that good. Uh... I guess I'll try it. I'll, I'll try that try. I'm not sure how good it is, though. I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm trying to learn uh, the try betting here. We'll see how that works out. Let's see. A golf stream and Belmont are going to be roughly at the same time. What what was that nine at? I still want to see uh nine at five to one. I probably just sit out that race. Let's see how golf stream just goes here. Hey, Lloyd, I got overpaid on that exact. Wait a minute. And I had that exact to 30 bucks. That's a 700 and some dollar hit that I had. Actually, it was closer to $900 hit. I, I can boom on that even though it was a favorite over at 8 to 1. What are you talking about? <laughs> that, that, that was pretty close to a grand. I, I played uh I played him on top of three horses, uh twenty dollars, and then I wheeled him first and second for another ten. Shit, that that was a nice hit for me. <laughs> Calling me out on my boom. And I got overpaid. Oh my God, four just hit reverse in the worst possible way. Who is this? Three? Come on, four, have some fight in you. Have some fight. Have some fight. Get them home. Get them home. There we go. But can I boom that one? Can I, can, Lloyd, can I boom that one to make up for that, uh, for the other one? I, I'll boom that one. <laughs> And, and neither of the chalks were great, but I got the best part of that. Boulder with a boom. God, I wish I could have hit the exacta or trifecta. That's going to be a monster. Well, I was worried about the class drop, even though I, uh, I thought the two deserved to be bet on the board. But he was extremely over bet. You know, I gave him a 33% chance on that giant clan. I mean, you just don't know. But I'm, I'm not will. you know, I, I only keyed him with the, uh, well, I did play that try. But, but what I was getting at, I was a little worried about him, but I, I had no worries about the one doing anything here. The one, actually the two not getting a first or second. I'm, is not surprising to me with that giant class drop and the bad running style. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, I'm more disappointed in the one not running than the two. Oh, two's a starship horse. You know we love those starship horses. All right, I'm back to hitting 50%. I don't know how I'm doing it, but uh, 
If you guys are new to the show, I only say that I'm going to hit 20% of the races that I like. Uh, 50% is uh, uh, not good for me. It, it means that there's going to be some more losses coming up. Uh, four horse one. Four horse one at 13 to one. How do I, how do I say your name? Of, uh, is that Patel? P Patel? I know, I, I know uh, Lloyd. You're going to keep saying that, but I, I think, I, dude, I keep explaining why I called you out on that. That that was when I thought you were a troll, and that and, and another thing. It's almost like your bet yesterday. I wish you didn't have your. I wish you were closer to being me yesterday than you being yourself. You know that 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 race where you liked the seven and the uh, ten. It, it was a good bet. I'm, I'm not even criticizing your bet. But you did the seven, all, all seven, and he was three to one, and you didn't do that with the 10. The 10 gets second. He was 47 to one. Even if you did that for half price. Now, I know the right move would do that for to do the uh, 10 horse at 47 to one for more than the seven. But that's where I wish you would have uh, jumped onto my uh, thought a little bit because that would have been a huge hit for you. That that would have been a nice hit for you, dude. I pull I pull for your guys' hits, man. Trust me, I pull for uh your guys' hits. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff, and the 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 thing. Actually, what did I play yesterday? I hit two out of six races. So we only played two today, so that's three out of nine races. Or no, three out of eight. Wow, I can't even count. Three out of eight races. Yeah, you guys, you guys don't want to follow me for a little bit because uh, trust me, the lo the losses are gonna start coming. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? Gregory with a boom. Bad with a boom. All right, let's let's go look at uh uh, Belmont just to watch that race. That nine got the lead. Let's see if that's good or not. I did not bet him, but that's the only place I could have went there. And at, at nine to two, that's not going to bother me. I, I can root for him to win. If he wins, I don't want nine to two in such a dangerous field, especially early in the day, just off of a hit. Maybe on a day that I'm really struggling, you know, and looking desperate and, and running out of races, maybe I take him, you know, it's a lot of my bets are also situation about where I am mentally and what I think the rest of the card is. And I'm, I'm not, I, I don't know if he's going to win yet. Uh, the five does look deadly, but he's up there and he's definitely the horse that I'm rooting for. He looks, he looks home, but uh, we'll see. But at this time, second race or third third race of the day, I'm not going to let that bother me because I know I know that there was so many first time starters and uh, he's still not home yet. He might lose. Uh, he's a winner. All right, that was a good call, but that's not going to go against me. That's not going to go against me because I didn't bet it, right? We, we can't have four out of nine winners with me. There's no, there's no way that's going to happen. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh. An earlier post, uh, earlier uh, post that day or earlier post today? I, I, oh, you did. Wait a minute, did you? Wait, are you telling me that you actually? Oh, you had the ten horse. Did, wait. Oh, you don't like? I do it. I don't mind singling long shots, but but I'm still trying to figure out. So did you? Did you have? Did you use? 
Maybe I read all your posts wrong. So, so are you saying that you hit that bet yesterday or didn't hit that bet yesterday? Yeah, I know, I know you do a lot of wheels. I know you do a lot of wheels. It's, it sounds like from that comment that I didn't read all of, oh, oh today. Who was earlier poll? So I missed the earlier poll. It's it's so hard to sometimes uh, follow, uh, you know, like sometimes it's hard for me to read tone. It's also hard for me to uh, sometime keep up in uh, conversations. You know what I'm saying on, on the stream? Most of the times I have time left to double up on a, a low exact to pay out. What's up, Michael Kuhn? Well, I'm still trying to figure out if you hit. I hope you hit that bet yesterday. Catherine, what's up, Catherine? Charles should have wheeled. Oh, oh, wow, Charles, if you were close to that try, that would have been huge. Two to five, getting fourth. Nine to two, 13 to one, 38 to one. Yeah, Charles. Oh. That's brutal. What's up, Gregory? Boulder, wait, Boulder, Boulder, Boulder. What double? Did you did you close out the golf stream double? I closed. I closed out on day, daily double. Oh, or were you shut out on the daily double? Maybe he was shut out on the daily double. God, I hope he hits that. If he's talking about the. First to the second race over there at Gulfstream. Oh, that'd be a shame if he uh, got shut out of that. And he, or maybe he was starting the... Well, even if he was starting a double in the second race and got shut out with the 13-to-1 winner, both of those are kind of a bad move. All right, Catherine, I was not able to do Woodbine today. All I got is Aqueduct and uh, Gulfstream today. I, I know I said maybe if I had enough energy, I, I decided to do a full workout. Still walked the dog on his full hour walk, and I just had no energy. And, and, and when I woke up this morning, I thought maybe I could do some work this morning. And then I glanced. I thought I already had Gulfstream completely done because I actually sent the marks to a couple people. And then when I looked at it, I just realized, oh my God, I just uh, sent the marks out to give them a head start on their markings. And I was like, holy shit, I got, I got to uh, do my marks. All right, but nine one wire to wire there at Aqueduct, so I'm I'm not really surprised. That's that was who I uh, recommended, but uh, at the same time, me not understanding where the math was, I wanted no. I guess I wanted no part to do with it. Nice price, nine to two. Some of you guys are bolder than me. You know, I can I can be conservative sometimes. But off to a decent start. Hit hit the uh, my second bet of the day today. Missed the exact, uh, missed the uh, try that I did. I'm, I'm still working on these tries. I really want to expand my uh, wagering menu. All 
I see third race over there at Gulfstream. Got eight horses in the race, so 15 uh, points everyone get. Uh, about five to one is five to one, six to one if you're just betting random. Is where you should be starting at. And Gulfstream, we already, uh, shit, Gulfstream, well, I don't want to say Gulfstream can chalk out now because we definitely don't want to see that. But with the two fireworks that we've seen already today, holy shit. We got another Tapita route race. I mean, they pretty much went wire to wire last race. The pace, you know, the clock, the clock told me the story there. They went slow enough pace for someone to wire. I still, I... I'm going to have to have them wire a couple times to get me off of that uh, closing bias or uh, stalking closing bias. But that is in my head that, hey, they did go wire to wire one race. You might want to be a little careful. And glancing, I like to glance ahead at a race. Uh, there might not be a ton of speed here. You know, you're kind of hoping that the six horse being a sprinter and only running one race might be able to show speed if, you want, if you're rooting for uh, speed to be bad. Seven could possibly be on the lead, but uh, he could rate too. Kind of a tough call there. He, he's rate, he's, he's uh, ran okay races rating and he uh, looks okay uh, going to lead. Or is another horse stretching out? Might add speed, but it's kind of hard to say. He didn't have any speed his first race out. This is going to be tough. Two may show speed. It's, this, is, this is going to be a muddy pace picture, I think. Let's just uh, go through and uh, see what we can get come up with here. Four races go on this one. Stalking day, just average. Three races go early. Pressing day, average. Stalking closing day, average. Matches strides with the solar. Doing an okay job getting in position at the top of the stretch. This this is another horse. Possibly could be somewhere on the lead. Possibly a uh, rating if he if he. Man, I, this is going to be a muddy pace picture here for me. Let's see. Two. First race out, stalking day. Uh, came out closer. Plus, it was his first time out. Gave him an asterisk there. Uh, two races ago, stalking closing day. He was he was pretty close to trying to go uh, one length off the lead. That's a nice race. Average, average. Slow. But then he, he rallied off of that slow, so I, I don't really have a problem with that race. And last race was a very nice race against the bias, stalking closing day, running against the bias, going too fast to win. He at least shows talent and looks like he could possibly be a racehorse. And racehorse for the relative level, not, you know, I'm not saying a real talented racehorse. I'm just saying a useful racehorse for the level that he's at. Three's another horse. There's a couple times that he's uh, dueling on the lead. Let's see. Last two races, slow, slow, slow. Last race is a kind of a deceptive race. I got him as slow, 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 but he uh, he was just off that pace. To me, that pace, he uh, chased the slowest uh, pace of the day. I think that's one of those uh, could be a sneaky good race. It depends on how you view it. If you think he was trying to get to the lead right that race, you throw him out. You hate him. Because the, the pace was super slow and he couldn't get the lead. And if you thought he was trying to come off the pace or kind of trying to rate that pace, you'd probably upgrade that race. It's, it's just you could go either way on that. Four horse only ran one race, early pressing day, ugly running line, but, uh, you know. I don't know what he is. I need more running lines to even guess. Let's say five to me definitely fits this race. He got the good running style. 
Last race he went too fast to win, or two races ago he went too fast to win on a stalking closing day. Right running style, just made his move a little too early. Still just barely missed. I like that race. He comes back on a stalking closing day. Stepped up in class. Still ran a useful race. He fits if they're coming off the pace. If they're coming off the pace, he definitely fits. Six, looks ugly, but only one race. Have no idea what he is. Let's see, four races ago on this seven horse inside stock and closing day. That's a nice race. Comes back on an early pressing day. Average, average, average. No, no problem there. Again, they jumped him back up in class. Why do they? Oh, he got claimed, and then they jumped him up in class. And then last race on the stalking closing day, went too fast to win against some of these horses. And eight horse looks like he benefits uh, coming off the pace, depending on what the pace is. The pace is the biggest problem here. Let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on the horses that I can't get to. Uh, when I do my betting line, it's so much easier for me to start with the horses that I know I'm not interested in any circumstance. That would be the six. Horse, if 5% is not a complete throwout, and I do bet 5% chances, uh, you know, just depending on if I'm getting a huge enough overlay. 2% I usually don't bet, though. All right, let me see where that takes me to. Those are the horses that I can't get to. Right now, everyone would be 19%, but I, I think I could break that down a bit more. Why do I think uh, August 14? Let me just compare that August 14 race. Yeah, I, th I think I want to upgrade the eight horse a little bit. Upgrade the three horse a little bit from that race. I don't know why I want to downgrade to one from that race, but I think I do. Let's see, two horse, that's a nice race. Two horse wouldn't surprise me either way. Two horse, it just depends on which way he tries to run this race. I think two and five should get the most points. Those are the two favorites. Let me see where I'm at right now. Let's say I got three. We got five horses left. That'd be 21%. Who was the other horse that I wanted to upgrade? I think it was a three. But I still think they're a little bit below. Who's the two? I like that. I, I like where I'm at right there. 24, 24, 
24. That's how I see the race. Right now, I got the favorites. I got three horses relatively at favorite, 24% chance to win on all of them. Three to one. I'd, I'd want three to one on. Uh, then I got the three and the eight at about a 15%. I need a bit more than five to one. So eight at five to one, I'm not interested. He's right on the number. I want to get overpaid. Let's see, seven is a bit of an overlay. I can get to the seven. Five's a little bit over bet. Five to me, I think, is the safest horse in my group. But five, if five wins, I think I'd rather just sit out here. Let's see, I could do something with the seven. Two's over bet. And I could do something with the three. Those are the overlays that I'm interested in. Three and the seven. But there's some more horses I like. Let's see, who would I use? Three, eight, seven. Five. I probably got to leave the two out of there, right? I probably got to leave the two out. Let's see. Two with the seven and three. All right, two with the seven is 27 to one. Or two to the seven is 16 to one. Two to the three is uh, 23 to one. But then I'm adding another horse. I want to do both seven and three to win. I think I'm going to do this. Let's get, let's play. Let's play a bit. I can reasonably get there. I was even thinking about doing this. I was thinking about doing that try just in case. I think that try got some upside, but I did not do the try. Oh. But I did not do that try. I'm going to leave that up there because that's what I was thinking of right now, but I'm going to erase it after the race. I just want to see. Uh, I didn't really want to use that two in the exactus. What's up, Steve? Let's see, Charles says he might underestimate speed today at Churchill. They got this track preferred for the stakes races later and speed, so my picks have been off the pace. Need a slight adjustment. Opening day, I didn't think speed was good, but yesterday speed seemed to be getting better, I think. Oh, man, three's going to lead here? All right, I need 25 on the front end if three is on the lead. Ah, 24 and 1. All right, I think I'm going to have to root for the seven. <laughs> I don't like that 24 and 1 and being on the lead. Oh, I like where the seven's at, though. Why did I think the three comes from off the pace? Oh, uh, he has went to the lead a few times.
Five, I said I thought was the safest horse to use. I hope I didn't make a mistake here. Nah, two's coming off the pace. I thought two was going to leave. Why, how, did, how am I missing this pace so bad? Eh, you know what? This horse closed. This horse stalked. He tried to go wire to wire. He earned heart. Well, there's no way I wanted a 5-2-2-5. Two, two, I, can, I can definitely say that's a fact. I definitely wouldn't have wanted a 5-2-2-5. Two, two, Unless I was playing try, but I don't even know if that tries. Like, I guess you could have did a 2-5-2-5 two, five, two, five with the same horses and uh, would have hit the try. But I, no, I don't want that try. Two to one, eight to five, five to one. No, I don't want that try. I'm not supposed to be in races where they chalk and chalk for sure. I'm not even supposed to be in races where the chalk wins. Two and five were the best two marked. Oh, two, five, and seven were the best two. That's the try, right? Two, five. Did it come in two, five, seven, or two, five, eight? Two, five, seven are the uh, three heart horses. It came in two five seven. Let's jump over to Aqueduct. And is Aqueduct in a or Belmont, whatever you guys want to call it? So so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. We got $25,000 claimers here. I think it's just been speed and stalkers. Oh, yeah, this is a kind of a, well, let's, let, I'm going to start with the six horse. Let's just start with uh, the horse that needs to get beat here. Let's say $25,000 claimers. I was say four races ago, early pressing day, nice win. One takes lower than the fastest winner, average, average, but that was at a lower level. Comes back, uh, fastest winner of the day at the first call, average, average, uh, at a little bit higher of a level. Okay. There's a nice second improving his speed figure, average, 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 at this level. And then last race, early pressing day, timer malfunction, those handicap uh, 25,000. I, I always got to look at the old form to see how that race came up. Let's see. I don't think I can beat him with the six. Most of the campaign, uh, campaigning on the four has been at a little bit higher of a level. Four would not shock me here. He's definitely going to need a lot of speed help, though. He's, he's going to need a speed duel and come from behind. I say three got some speed, but he looks a little bit... Uh, Below these. He earned a heart uh, three races ago on a stalking closing day, but that was on a route. He he looks he looks every bit of that 58 to 1 to me. I 
obviously, if you beat the if you beat the six with the two, who really cares? And not really getting a pay raise. In fact, unless you can get the one, the three, or the five to get first or second, I want no part of this race. No part of this race. I, I don't have to. The, the three favorites look all tough. The other horses, pretty much all the shots, kind of look like filler. I, I, I want no part of this race. What's up, Lanier? Yeah, so I'm 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 in lockstep with Charles over there. This race to me is not worth playing. Let's see. Blair Blair's taking a shot here. The ticket that I'm worried about doing a three horse box. I would rather play, force the five to get first or second and have that more times than uh, cash in that two, six, six, uh, two. I, I don't have time to check those payouts, but I'd be worried about those payouts. I got a feeling if it comes in six, two, you might not get your six dollars even back yet, let alone make a profit on a six dollar base bet. But your, your, the five gives you hope. The five does give you hope. If the five gets in there and splits those two horses on top or in second, that, that's where I think the best part of that ticket is. But good luck, Blair. <laughs> Charles, man, Charles, you're coming in crazy today. We've seen a 50 to one and a 13 to one and then a chalk race. <laughs> No, I'm hoping that they don't chalk out the rest of the races at Golf Stream. I made that joke that uh, they could chalk out the rest, and uh, I, I don't really mean that joke. Ah, come on, five. We need it. We. I was rooting for your ticket, Blair. And this is the three horses that all of them I said yup to. Right? I'm pretty sure four was the other one, right? Yes, it was four. Four was the one that I said uh, looks like the class of the group. He has the highest price of the group, but I think he was, yeah, he was seven to two. Those races like that, they really force you to have an opinion when uh, they're, they're that so close. I, I don't believe in uh, taking lockup races. Even, even though I thought, yeah, that's, that's going to be the winner of that group. That's probably going to be the exact. Uh, there's a good chance that's going to be a try. You, you really got to make, make it, uh, you really got to make sure the math makes sense. You know, your payouts at the end of the day are going to be uh, really worth it. Let's see, does two hold on for third? I'm not even sure if two holds on for third here. No, two gets beat for third, so it wasn't, I was pretty sure it was going to be the exact, I'm pretty sure it had a decent chance to be the try, but the one is definitely going to help the try a little bit. Yeah, Blair, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong about uh, being wrong about a 15 to one. You know, we do it all the time. Those are the horses that you got to try to find and uh, make cases for. Like I said, I didn't, I, the only part of your bet, I just thought, hey, if you're going to do that bet, just force that uh, five to be first or second. You know, because I, I think I glanced at your exact, if it came in uh, one way, you know, two six, I think it was going to pay six dollars and the other way it was going to pay uh, three dollars. So you, you'd hate to hit exact and be uh still lose 50% of your money there. 
It's just, it's just something to be conscious of, you know. But there's never, to me, there's ne there's there's nothing but upside of uh, getting to the better price horses, whether whether you're right or wrong. Well, those are the, those, that that would be the horse that could make your day right there. If the five got up there. And, we're, and like I said, you know, if you guys are new to the show, jump in, throw up your picks. Don't be ashamed to throw up your picks. Everyone sucks at picking winners. We're, we're not going to judge you. No one's going to pick on you. We're, no one's going to judge you all for one day. Uh, a lot of guys in the chat room got followings of their own. You know, we like to point out guys that are making good plays. We like to help, but you know, give a. And I, when I when I was a little critical on his ticket, it, it's just me trying to help him uh, coming from a good place, just thinking that bet through there. But we all, you know, everyone makes shitty tickets. We're just, you know, trying to lessen your, you know, shitty tickets. There's, there's a difference between a bad ticket and a losing ticket in my book. There are really good losing tickets out there. I, I know if you're really new to horse racing, that probably sounds terrible. But it's, it's actually the truth. It's, it's like if you're going to a blackjack table and they are offered you five to one on blackjack. You want to play at that table, right? You might not get a blackjack. Any, uh, you might not get a blackjack that session, but the math changed for that game that made that a better game for you. You know, they usually offer, I think, six to five or three to two on blackjack. So if they change that rule, the exact same game, but they gave you five to one at blackjack, you're supposed to play at that blackjack for as long as you can. The math automatically got better for you as a gambler. You, you, you might lose at that session. You might get crushed at that session. The, the people all around you might be getting blackjack. You might not hit a single one, but you're supposed to play at that table. So there are there are good losing bets. Problem is, I don't think anywhere in this world they'll give you five to one on blackjack. <laughs> that that's the problem. The philosophy is sound, but that's the problem. <laughs> Let's see, Gulfstream, this is just a dangerous race for me. I didn't even mark this race up. Do we got something we can watch? Let's see. Let's let's just, uh, since uh, I'm going to have a lot of time. Anyone got to play at Woodbine? They're loading in the gate at Woodbine. Maybe I'll be able to watch Woodbine and Churchill in this uh, downtime here. Let's see. I see, Chur I see uh, Charles got a Churchill play over there. Anyone got a Woodbine play? I know some of you guys, I know uh, Kathleen wanted us to do Woodbine today, so I think Kathleen's probably looking at some Woodbine. Let's see, Omar likes the six horse. Blair likes the six, three, nine. 
So if you get the six home, both of you guys can I got a chance to uh cash. Let's see, JW uh, might be a little interested in a horse over there at Woodbine. Not my style, but I know some of you guys are good at this stuff. Oh, you know what, Blair? Uh, I'm, or I'm not, sorry, not Blair. JW, I, I erased the workouts from my program. I didn't remember if I did that, but I did that. Oh, really? Soaring Eagle got shut down for three days back in the 80s because they uh they took some aces out of the deck. They 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 weren't happy with their what? I I think blackjack, they got if you play perfect poker, I think they got about a two or three percent edge over the player. Not not a not a not a huge margin. But Lloyd is saying in the 80s, there was a scandal that they uh, took some uh, aces out. Oh, did you guys see that? Uh, I think it was in the World Series of Poker. I didn't watch it this year, but I think they had the same cards show up uh, on the table. And there was a scandal uh, in the World Series of Poker this year, I think. Come on, bring this six. Bring the nine or the three in second. Help out uh, Blair over there. Who's the better price? Ah, well, we got to root for the three. Because the nine just uh, kind of lost his uh, gear. Six, six, three, nine. So it looks like uh, Omar gets his six home, and it looks like Blair can get an exacta there. What's up, Greer? Was I calling Greer? Uh, no, I was calling uh, Omar. And, uh, that's right. I was talking to JW, too. What's up, Greer? Thirty-four and two. I don't look at workouts, but even I know that that looks like a very fast workout there. I'm I'm like I'm I'm the I'm the what Allen Iverson of handicapping a uh, workout? You telling me about a workout? Shit! <laughs> Don't talk to me about workout. <laughs> it's all you got to go on on first time starters, I guess. That breeding connections and that sort of stuff that I don't pay any uh mind to. Let's see, can I go look at Churchill? Let's see, I know Charles got to play over there at Churchill. Good luck, Charles. Charles, I think, was doing something with the eight horse, right? The eight horse is what I remember. Let's see, exact a key box, try, and super. One four five eight. One four five eight with the eight. Oh no, one four five six with the eight. One four five six with the eight. Yeah, yeah. Even I know that thirty four and two uh, should be a, a fast workout. Even I know that, and I don't. I I've never looked at workouts. Just just call me Iverson on that one. It's what you do in the game. Don't talk to me about workouts. <laughs> did did Tyana tell you that? What, what, what was that when he was uh, yelling at the announcer? Was it, uh, did Tyana tell you that? When he was, uh, what, what scandal did he have back then when uh, she was yelling in the background? I'm not even sure if that was the right name. It was close to that, though. I'm not a basketball fan, but I did like Allen Iverson. I liked his highlights. I can't watch a basketball game, but the guy was definitely special.
I'm not the biggest uh, basketball fan. I'm not a fan at all, really. Let's see, Lloyd. Good luck, Lloyd. Five, uh, eight, ten in the exact box. Let's see. Do you and uh, Charles got some outs in common? I know you both got the eight. You both got the five. Dude, I should go to a restroom now. Seven six. Ooh, is that a thirty to one? Bombs away. Bombs away at Churchill. Kathleen says drinks on her. You you were all over that seven. Dude, I think he's seen a deal. I think they uh, protected him. I think he got a couple years left and he gets like $25 million or something from Reebok. I think I just seen that on Yahoo or YouTube or Yahoo not too long ago. I think the story is that uh, his agent or whoever worked out that deal knew that he was a... a Knew, knew that he was a river of spending his money and they they did something in his shoe contract. I think it was his shoe contract where uh, it was age uh, appropriate or something. I know he went, I th I'm pretty sure he went bankrupt and all of that stuff like you said, but I, I think he got a, I think something worked out for him. Yeah, I, th I, I just seen that on YouTube. Maybe the last, or, or Yahoo, the last couple months. It, it was something about age and his uh, shoe deal. And he's going to fall into a whole shitload of money. Hopefully he learned something. Ho hopefully he learned something and uh, don't do it again. No, it, it's sad to see athletes uh, just blow their money like that. It, it really is. So many athletes uh, can't handle money. <laughs> Lloyd Love uh, Al 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 Iverson on the practice topic. Let's see, Gulfstream, we knew I wasn't interested in this race. What do you guys got here? Let's see, I think it was JW pointed out a workout on the 11. Does anyone got a bet here? Let's see, uh, Blair is uh, 297. Oh, 
let's go with the nine. Help Blair out there on that bat. Santana with long shot speed. Oh, was that a, was that at a, I don't have the form over there. I, I got a feeling that might have been the uh, seven horse over there at a. Churchill, maybe? Let me start just getting my head together. I'm going to watch Gulfstream before I start Belmont. I think we got plenty of time at Belmont, though. I don't think I got a rush. As long as as long as Gulfstream gets in the gate uh, relatively soon, if they dick around how they do, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the clock. My soul thirst for you. What's up, <laughs> Sean? With a two seven eight ten. Souls looks like he's interested in the ten. He or she, I'm not sure with that name. Blair says, it's hard to bet these races at Gulfstream. Always the favorite. Look good on paper. Well, that that's that's true a lot of times. You got to you gotta either uh, be able to dig to get by uh, favorites. That, that's, that's, you know. That's usually true. Frankie Tubbs. Oh, you're back to Frankie Tubbs. What's up? To, to me, it's easier to get off of uh, short price horses when you consider math, Blair. When, when I consider math, that, that's what makes me capable of uh, fading so many of favorites. When, when you really think about the math, when you really think about uh, your hit rate, when you really think about uh, that sort of stuff, Basically, you use your handicapping to become a casino. You know how the casino only offered games where they had the advantage for the most part? You know, even poker, they take a rake. You know, they don't lose anything in poker other than uh, square footage on their floor. But when you think of gambling, think of gambling as nothing but math. Everything has to do with math. And I don't have tic-tac-toe boards going or anything right now. Holy shit, I thought that seven didn't have anything to worry about. He got caught by the three over there. Wow. I didn't think there was anything to worry about with that seven. Well, his name is Take Care of Business. I guess, I guess he did that. Let's see, I'm going to have to get the tic-tac-toe board going uh, eventually. We, uh, holy fuck, 66 to 1. Man. Was that a dirt race? Nah, it's a PETA. Let's see, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if I can get the tic-tac-toe board going. Oh, they got all the charts up except for that one, but we know that horse uh, closed. 
Let's see, first race, we're going to say that eight horse went wire to wire on the torpedo. I'm okay with that. That's what I'm, I, uh, I thought he came from a length behind, but I'm willing to just go with what the chart caller says. The race that I hit, that four went wire to wire. Then in that other all-weather track, the two-horse stalked. And then we got the three closing on the all-weather. Let's see. They only ran two races so far at uh, Aqueduct. Let's see, that nine went wire to wire on the turf sprint. Trying to give myself enough uh, room to write if I want to bet this race. Didn't the four go wire to wire in that dirt race at seven to two? I think in the second race, I'm pretty sure that four went wire to wire. Let's see if they got the chart up. Oh, they do got the chart up. I, for some reason, I didn't think they'd have it up. Yeah, let's see. Wire to wire in the first race. Yeah, wire, the four went wire to wire also. Okay. Dude, Gawstream, what did we see? A 50 to 1 and a 60 to 1? And a 13 to 1 in a favorite. What's up, Mr. Clutch? Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Frankie, tell me you had the three to win over there at Gawstream. You boxed a two, three, ten. Please tell me you had the three to win over there at Gawstream. He he's either gonna answer right away with a boom or he's uh he's kicking holes in his drywall right now. He, he might not have a computer right now. What's up, Frank? Back from Venezuela. What's up, man? Another Venezuela. We really remember Frank. And we got Lanier from uh, Venezuela, too. Ah, Frankie Tubbs, you better come back and tell me you bet that uh, three to win. Oh, my God, 66 to one. Or 60 to 1? Okay, so you said, of course, you you learned from me, so that means you forgot it and you didn't recognize uh, what you had, right? Is that what you're saying? You fucked up? Or are you saying, of course you bet them? Uh, you, uh, because sometimes I make the mistake and forget to bet them. I, I'm going to read that as you hit it. I'm, I'm going to read that as you played it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you better have played it, Frankie. Or you know what? I told the story that I broke my uh, Apple phone and my uh, monitor the same day in a tournament. So he might be agreeing that he broke his computer too. There's there's a lot of things you you can learn from me. Some right things you can learn. Some wrong things and you can learn some destructive things from me all at the same time. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure which way to go on that comment. Ooh, Mr. Clutch used to come in here. We used to see Mr. Clutch. I haven't seen him in a while. I remember Mr. Clutch. 
Let's see. I'm not sure. I really want to uh, look at uh, Aqueduct like they're coming off the pace on the turf. Uh, but yesterday they were speed favoring. Okay, you did bet them. You you did bet them. <laughs> Oh, God, thank you. Thank you for telling me you bet them. Let's say the one does look good. Kind of hard for me uh, to really poke holes in those two races, other than his price is a range that I'm not interested in. Uh, some interesting horses are, wow, the four at 97 to 1, they earned hearts uh, two races ago. You know what? I don't have any time to handicap. I am putting a bet on that for, I mean, I'm just betting that heart back at 90 to 1. I have no idea where he fits in here. Now that I'm scrolling down, you know what? He got heart. I'll, I'll take a heart at 90 to 1. <coughs> that's That's all I'm doing there. Don't really have time to, why am I calling, I'm saying 90 to 1 and my mind can't work. I bet the 4 at 90 to 1, not the 9. Oh, you don't you didn't want to join the uh, I I get the mafia comment now. You 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 didn't want to join the red board mafia. <laughs> I I get the comment now. <laughs> now I did a play bet on this horse, but fuck, he's worth twenty bucks to me. If he were twenty bucks to me, I don't know ninety nine to one. What is that going to be, a $2,000 hit? I, I only got to be right once. He might not run a lick, but I, I had to bet the heart there. I say Frankie's looking at the 1039 over there. Blair like the 1910. Yeah, my four is just dragging ass. I, I need this track to be quicksand, I think. I need this track to be uh, literally quicksand. Come on, scooch up. Just stay a little interested. Give me a thrill. At least give me a thrill. No, oh, it doesn't really look like I'll even get a thrill. Ten, 10 looks scary on the outside. 10, 10 looks like he means business. Still, eight still there. 10 still looks a little scary. One just tipped out. 10 looks the scariest, but he kind of, he kind of got hung up on that nine horse. Eight's not really going away. Eight one ten or eight ten one. Nice price on that eight. Let's see what he looked like. I don't have to review my bet or anything. I know I just jumped in because I seen something that caught my eye and I would just said, fuck, at those odds I'll take it. I don't care win or lose, I'll take that. Eight ran one race at Saratoga, average, average, slow. Nothing, nothing's wrong with that, but not sexy at the same time. First race out, always an excuse to me, first race out. We a lot of horses improve a lot second race out. I got I got no real problem with him winning at 12 to 1. 
Like I said, fa uh, the one horse was the favorite. I said hard to poke a hole in him other than I just don't like the price. Let's see, who got second? Ten horse. A lot of you guys were all over that ten horse. Coming from Laurel and Colonial Downs. I bet this Laurel, you know how we were, I was a little interested in Laurel. Now they're at Pimlico. So uh, that was a big time closing bias. Closing, not stalker bias. I got a, I got a feeling that would have rated as a good race right there. Stalking. Do I got enough time to bullshit? I think I got enough time to bullshit and then get right over to Gulfstream. I'm curious just to look up that race. I got a feeling this is going to be a closing day, and that's going to be a fairly good race right there. That's the only race I'm uh, capable of looking up on, on him. I don't keep track of a Colonial. Let's see, that'd be July 1st. Oh, I didn't have it as a closing day that day. I, I had I had no opinion on how the track was running that day. You know what? No, it, it's not a it's not a, a it, I thought it was going to be a half about way better marks than that. I I thought it was going to even run a risk of being some hearts there. He was just average, average, average there. He, he did beat the one. I, I, I kind of thought he got hung up on that horse that he was kind of running with, and maybe that cost him a little bit of a rally. But the eight was never, at, at the end, maybe a little, let's see, let me mark him down going up. I'm pretty sure the eight went wire to wire there. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. But I'm pretty sure he went wire to wire, and I said I was worried about speed of, uh, being a little bit better today. Let's see, Gulfstream, we got another Tapita race, and I want to hit one of these Tapita route races. I love these Tapita routes, but so far I haven't uh, really been able to take advantage of it yet. One of them I think I sat out, and the other one I uh, lost. This is a fifth race here. Or did I play both Tapita routes? Well, maybe I played both of them. That's right. I did play both of them. I did play both of them. So I haven't took advantage of a Tapita route yet. The eight one wire to wire and the two stalked. And the second, the, the second Tapita race, they did get a proper pace. Let's see, $20,000 claimers. Let's see, right now, possibly the four is going to lead. Ah, five can go to lead and five can rate. Maybe a six is going to lead. I, I don't know. Six is kind of hard. Man, I, I really. So when I got a track that I think is backing up, my best case scenario, the races that I really want to play is when I think there's plenty of speed in the race. And that's so far what we're not really getting so far on these Tapita races over here at Gulfstream. Twenty five or twenty thousand dollar claimers, optional claimers. Let's see, three races ago, that was a nice race. Stalking closing day, trying to go wire to wire, went too fast to win. At a higher level, but then he dropped. Again, tried to show speed. This horse might hopefully will go to the lead. Why do I keep putting it in the wrong area?
So everyone right now starts at about four to one, 20% edge on everyone. Two fits of running style. Three fits of running style, but he uh he feels a little cheap to me. I'm gonna be hard a little hard on him just because of the running style. I'm gonna take half the points away and uh just say that he's about nine to one to me. Just because it feels like he's stepping up and a lot of these horses, I, th I think this is going to be a tough race where not too many horses are going to uh, really surprise me. Let's see, the four is probably going to lead. If he gets a slow pace, I think he can win if he... Uh, Gets a fast pace. I think he's a loser. I'm gonna, I'm just going to take five points away from him and say about five to one is fair value. Wow, I'm agreeing with the board so far on those two horses. I think it just depends on which way this uh, five horse goes. He's kind of the same. If he rates, I think his chances are better. If the speed duel develop, I think, it, and he's in it, I think his uh, chances get worse. Ah, kind of the same with the six. Oh. <sighs> For some reason, I don't I I don't like the six that much. Well, I can definitely work with that. I just don't know if my uh, betting line is that good. Let's see, I kind of gave most of my points to the two and the seven. I think both of their fair value is about five to two. So seven's an overlay and uh, two's right on the mark. With the horse that I uh, think should be the highest price is a three, and even I even I don't think that three is a complete uh, throwout. I got him at about fair value at about nine to one. Yeah, ten percent chance. I'm saying I think that horse wins this race ten out of a hundred times. So not impossible, but he is over bet uh, with me uh, saying that. Let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if any horse really wins this race. The four to five and the six, I all think they can win, but it depends on the trip they get. I, I'm saying fair value is about five to one on all of them. So let's see. The overlays that I'm mostly interested in are the seven and the five. I think exact is going to be tricky. Do I got enough time to look at a double here?
I still like the two. He's right on there, but I'm not. If, uh, if the combination is okay if I do that in the exacta. Two on, two's over bet a little bit, but I think that exact, those exactas would be okay. If I do a win bet, it would be 7-5. If I started off the double, I'd have to check the doubles. Let me see if I can uh let me see if I can do something with the double. I think I want to play this race a bit. Let's see. Next race is not a double race, so I can't do a double here. Let me just make sure if the two wins, a seven and a five, are okay. Two five is twenty-eight to one. Two seven is sixteen to one. Seven five is thirty-eight to one. Five seven is forty to one. Or I can just do the Dutch bet and not the exacta. Just bet the seven and five to win. And I think I have roughly a 43% chance to win that bet. If the seven wins, I'd be getting nine to two on a three to two proposition, basically. If the five wins, it'll be way better. Maybe I'll just do the Dutch bet. Or maybe I bet the, the win bet more and uh, just play the exacta as a bonus. A lot of times I play the exacto heavier than the win bets. Maybe I play the win bet. If I'm right about the win bet, I definitely want to profit. And play the exact as the afterthought. Maybe I could do that. Could I do a try here? Could I do a try there? What would be the try that I would do? Let's let me let me do the win bets first. Let's see. It was seven and five to win. Okay. We'll do the exact the box. Do I want to do a try here? Let's see. If I did the try, I'd want I I I would want the four to be, or I would want the five to be there. What if I did the try where seven and five had to hit the board? Like a seven five two try box. Seven five four, seven five six, what, for 50 cents, those are all, let's see, for 50 cents, that'd be three, six, nine, for five dollars, it'd be 45 bucks, am I doing that math right? Is there an easier way to key that in, or do I got to do each of those separate? You know what? I want I want to do some bets that are that I normally don't do. I think I'm going to do that uh, that bet too. Uh, let's see. Seven five four. Let's 
and a 752. And that other try that I wrote down, did I erase that try? Because I did not play that, and I keep these for my record keeping. Eh, let me just put an X through that. I, I did not play that try. I thought I thought that was a try that I could have been interested in, but I didn't play it. What's up, Jeffrey Bourne? Ah, seven's not the overlay that I thought I was going to get. Maybe it'll pop up. I, I hope he doesn't pop down in price. Ooh, there's a $4,500 pick three out there for a... Uh, 50 cents. Oh, that, that there was that 60 to 1 winner out there. Ooh, that's a big return for 50 cents. Let's see, I still think I got about a 40% chance to win this race. So if the seven wins, I'll be getting nine to two. I just need seven and five to hit the board, and I think I got a shot at the try and everything. Five, why are you going to lead? I did not think you'd be going to lead. All right, he relaxed. Fours go to the lead. I want someone else to press other than the five. Looks like I'm not going to get my wish, though. Well, five looks like a gump. Five looks like the gump horse. I don't like his running motion. He looks gumpy out there. He, he's that uncoordinated kid trying to run. Oh, and the value got sucked out of the five. He's still an overlay in my book, but he did get sucked out a bit. I don't think this looks too good. The pace was not what I thought it was going to be. 24 and two. Come on, five. Come on, five. Come on, five. Now four got the lead. I Shit, I was close. I, maybe I could have did a four-horse box. I don't know. Four-one wire to wire. Another horse going wire to wire on the torpedo. If I get second or two got, I think two got second, didn't he? I needed a four to go away. Five tried. Pace was the pace was uh closer to what I thought that I needed for them to come off the pace. Yeah, five did it. Actually, seven disappointed me more than the five. I don't know if the full horse box would have been worth it there. And then I still used the six. So wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I had five horses. I don't box five horses. All right, I'm going to lose that one.
Yeah, the Tapita has not been my friend. I don't expect going 0-3 on the Tapita route races. I really don't expect that unless they're all chalky. Let's see, I ran second, third, and fourth. Eh, used all the horror. I don't know how I could have. Uh, I don't really know how I could have done that any different, really. I don't know what I could have done there. I don't really play supers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I could have really done there. I had all the horses just uh, keyed, off, keyed off the wrong part of it. I don't even know if that's that good of a try, really. I guess it depends on what the try pays for 50 cents. I'm guessing it pays about $25 for 50 cents, so I don't even think it's going to be that great. I could be completely wrong on that. I guess if it pays 30 something, it's better. Over 30 for 50 cents, but I, I'm not sure what that's going to pay. Does, does anyone got to guess what that try pays? Let's see, I'm going to go over to. Uh, Charles says it's playing more like Arlington and Gulfstream today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, the Tapita has not been my friend. I took three three stabs on the Tapita, and I lost all the Tapita route races. The only race I hit was the uh, dirt race. And usually I'm excited for the uh, Tapita route races. Let's say we got a cheap race over here at uh, Arlington. $16,000 claimers. Let's see. One, four races ago, inside of track was good. Average, slow average. Uh, but he did come back and win that race. But he had the inside of track being good again. Slowest winner of the day. I don't think he's that as good as that race. I think the inside was good, and he got a slow pace. Tries a handicap race. The rail was bad that day, so there's an excuse there. And then last race was a one-race sample. He showed a little speed, fell out. Let's see what else the other horses look like. I think I'm more interested in speed and stalkers, and the three just looks like he's going to be too far back to me. He got a couple asterisks for being a uh, uh, closers on a uh, speed and stalker days, but I th I think he's gonna have a speed stalker day today too. Let's see, four's a finger leg horse. You guys know what I think of finger legs. Five, I could be a little interested in. Ran against inside bias last race. For that was a win. Slow pace, though. That was at seven furlongs. Seven to two. I still haven't got... Let me get to the four to five favorite. Well, I can't throw him out. I definitely can't throw him out. I, I think he keeps me out the race. Four races ago, going wire to wire, average, average, uh, fastest winner. Wins again, average, average, average. Uh, two races ago, runs against the inside bias, went too fast to win. I love that race. Comes right back, fastest winner of the day. Hard for me to poke holes in him other than the price. I, I'm just going to sit out because I want to be able to throw the uh, chalks out with confidence, and I can't throw him out. I'm, I'm okay just taking off. Let's see, and if, the, if, if he runs with the five, that's not going to be a good exacta. Uh, even if the five uh, wins and he gets second, that's not going to be a good exacta. Uh. By the way, I said I had to come back to the one. I think the one still has a shot here.
I, I'm, I'm going to be rooting for the one five and uh favorite, but uh, the favorite keeps me out of this race. Even if he wins and the one gets second, I don't see much upside. Unless, unless you can really get uh, one of the bombs home. Let me see what these exactas are paying with them. Let me let me just make sure there's no like uh Yeah, eight one's paying eight bucks, eight five's paying six bucks, eight seven's paying eleven. Really, unless you can get to the three or the four, those are only paying twenty seven or twenty one. I see Thad likes the three eight. So three actually spices things up for uh, Thad there. He got the eight three exact. Uh, he got that eight five exact, uh, but that that's not going to help him. But they he got he got the three and the four. Those two help him. But if the three wins, uh, obviously all of his exactas are good. He got he got one weak exact in there. Let's see, what's Charles doing there? Is that uh, going trying a uh, key and super? Singling the eight. Let's see, Lloyd, Lloyd says uh, golf stream's been kind of crappy this uh, summer. I definitely want that inside bias to come back on the dirt. I'm still, I'm still finding enough spots to keep me profitable. It hasn't been crazy. I, I'll still say it's still my main track, I guess. I, I haven't given up on it being my main track. Let's see, eight gets the lead. One's probably the horse that uh going to be closest to putting pressure on the eight. Eight gets to the rail very easily. They're able to cross over with no problem. Let's see, six is actually trying to put the pressure on. Frankie Tubbs got the eight five with the si oh doubles with the six in the double. Where's the six? Six is uh trying. Six is definitely trying. Oh, he has uh, he has some uh, bunch of seven furlong sprints and a bunch of route races. Six is the only danger, and I don't even know right now if he's danger. It just depends on if the eight is tired or not. But six is the only danger in the race. Six is looking more and more dangerous the more and more they run. There, there is going to be a nice price upset there. Oh, I'm looking at the seven horse. This is a six horse. Guys, I know I kept saying the five. I, I'm going to say some of you guys can feel free to call me. A, you feel, feel free to say I'm bullshitting. I kept saying the five. I met the six.
I was looking at the heart. I got my numbers covered. It, it was the six horse that, uh, wait a minute. Am I looking? I might have been, I might be. No, no, no. I might be looking at the wrong. No, I'm looking at the right race. You, you guys, you guys can call me a bullshitter right there, but I, I'm, I'm being honest. Uh, I had that six covered, and I thought the six was the five horse. You, you guys that know my marks probably are giving me the benefit of the doubt. Six is obviously the best marked on, uh, I'm sorry, five is, uh, I'm sorry, eight is definitely the best marked horse on paper and, and was the horse that scared me out of the race. Guys that know my marks, they automatically know, yeah. At, at the very least, they'll say, yes, six is the second, if not uh, kind of even close to the... Uh, Lloyd with the boom. That's a little irritating right there. That is a little irritating. Ugh. Let's see, golf stream I know I'm not interested in. Probably hurt me that I didn't do a betting line there. Probably, probably hurt me that I didn't do a betting line because I probably would have seen the uh, the numbers. I know, Gregory. Gregory, you you know what I say. I always try to be as honest as I possibly can with what's going on. You guys, you guys know that I mix up numbers all the time. The, the eight did scare me, and, you know, I thought the five was that, that horse. I probably would have, uh, you know, called, I probably would have scaled down my bed, and I probably would have uh, played the six horse. Uh, but, you know, there's there's people that are watching for the first time, and if they you know they they might want to say, hey, this guy's a uh, red boarding or uh, you know, and it, it, it's a fair point. It, it's a fair point. Hi, right, what's up, Lou? I, I'm just I, I'm not, I just uh, I just know that the people that really look at the hearts and know the marks, they're, they're probably uh. They're, they're probably actually wondering why I didn't say anything about, uh, you know, they're probably wondering why that didn't catch my eye. It caught my eye. I just thought it was the five horse. Mm -hmm. Hustling this horse uh, for quite a long time. See, see how chilly the eight's sitting and see uh, the six is uh, trying to get a little bit out of the horse? I think he gets a lot more in this turn. Yeah, he is. Eight's still pretty uh, preserving energy where the six, six is on a pretty long drive right here.
Eight just didn't have that much. Nothing, nothing the jockey did was wrong on that eight either, in my opinion. I mean, he just was not as good as the six today. What's up? One, two, three, Max. What's up, man? From Scotland. What's up? We had some other Scottish people uh, checking out the show. Let's see, is Woodbine, I think I got some time to look at Woodbine. Not look at it for a betting, just watch Woodbine. Anyone got some Woodbine plays over there? Charles uh, with the two over there. Oh, Boulder with the wife from Dundee. I like the Scottish accent. Hey, hey, Max. How, how do you how do you guys play? Are you are you guys able to bet American Racing? And uh, you guys probably can't play in our pools. What what do you got to play against a bookmaker or something over there? From Glasgow. Let's see, Frankie Tubbs, 718 exact the box over there at Woodbine. That 28 with the 2849. Oh, you got some family uh, boxing blood in the background on your uh, wife's side. He was known as the Mighty Adam. The mighty Adam. Her grandfather. Ooh, that'd be back. That fresh probably back in the good time of boxing. When a lot of people uh, did the sport. I was going to say played the sport, but you don't play boxing. That's why you don't argue with her? <laughs> yeah, that's probably safe. Dude, my sisters are, my sisters are mean. Shit, my, my sisters could scrap their asses off. <laughs> shit i got a crazy cousin uh that's a girl on my wife's side oh my god she she when she was young oh my god she used to i remember she threw a boy through a plate glass window i think the girls i'm in my family are uh, worse than the guys <clears> oh <throat> <laughs> Let's see, uh, Frankie's uh, one horse gets the lead there. Let's hope this horse can uh, get a good uh, good setup here. I don't know if 23 is a good setup. He might have to be best from... Uh... Oh, 
Oh, you bet. You're you're able to bet on uh, 365, 365. But that's that's all against the bookmakers. You are you are you able to do the uh, exchange betting over there too? You guys got so many more options. He looks pretty lively right here. One, one did go away. He looks pretty lively, but there's a there's a line of horses. Ah, the eight just went out. Nine, uh, nine and two are the horses that are uh, kind of pulling away now. Two nine, two nine three four is what that's going to come in over there at uh, Woodbine. Ah, you're able to do the exchange wager. Nice. Well, I've I've never. I'm I'm interested in that. I watched that. Um, uh, who is that? That Brian Can or Con or whatever. He does a bunch of uh horse racing stuff uh, and his shit looks like he's playing the stock market over there. I can't figure out what's going on. But you guys are able to bet the middles and lock up profits before the race is even set depending on if you lay in a uh, you guys can lay in a uh, bet lock in profits and all that shit. I don't understand any part of that game. I, I don't, I, we've never got a chance to uh, look at that stuff here. Let's see, the big favorite one over there at uh, Churchill. Favorite second choice long shot is what that came in. 5 10 2. 5 10 2. Lou, Lou would be interested in being able to lay bad favorites. The, the only thing I don't, well, I don't think they can limit you on exchange betting. I think all you do is pay a, a commission. But playing against the bookmaker, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like being, I don't like the sound of being limited. I don't like the sound of being uh, kicked out. But never really had a chance to even look at that seriously here. I think only Mammoth Park and only at Mammoth Park were able to do that in the States. Let's see, Gulfstream, we're going to have a race that's just uninteresting for me. I didn't even mark up anything in this race. There's just nothing in here for me really to look at. Ah, Charles with a boom with that two horse. Nice. Over there at Woodbine. What was he, about 7 to 1 on that two? Eight to one. Let's say the four's holding at four to one. He he keeps catching my eye. I'm I'm looking at uh that pace rating. I'm just gonna look him up real quick. But th this is gonna be the same situation as the first race at Aqueduct. I like that nine. I can't price him out. He won easily at nine to two. I just can't tell value with so many first time starters. So I didn't bet him. But that was the only spot I could have got to. So, so I could argue that, you know, maybe I should have played it. But I, I take the conservative road sometimes. Or a lot of times. By the way, that's a good race. I got a bad rail day. He was nowhere near that rail, though. 
but he went too fast to win, earning my best marks. Fast, uh, too fast to win, too fast to win slow. Is he still four to one? I might talk myself into him actually. If I get four to one, I might uh let's see. The one's out. He's the only horse I can get to. He is the only horse I can get to. Seven to two. Just just hard to price him. You, oh, you took him off, Boulder? To, to me, this is just a situation. You know, if he did enough on paper, as long as he doesn't bounce, I think he's the benchmark. I, I think he deserves to be chalk. Yeah, I do see that. Uh, we we have we have some of you guys that can bet on a three six five, and sometimes they'll be betting a favorite, and I'll be like, "Ooh, is that a good bet?" And then they'll tell me the odds different. Like some like sometimes we get a horse that's nine to five, and you guys are betting early and at different times, and sometimes you guys are getting four to one, where all of a sudden that price makes sense. Where you know the nine to five or whatever we're getting here doesn't make sense. It's, 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 uh, we had that guy, uh, over here, uh, from Macedonia that's able to do show bets and already know his price. And I don't like doing show bets in the States because it's always, uh, you never know what the show bet's going to make, but he knew, be you know, he got odds, you know, he already knew what his show bet was worth. And a lot of times his show bets were getting paid a bit more than ours, quite a bit more than ours. And I know some people were waiting for me to say that show bets are always bad, but honestly, I did not know because I don't, I, I won't say shit that I don't think I know. Dude, I'm going to just, four is the only place I can get to here. I, I'm, I'm going to take that seven to two. If I get beat by a first-time starter, I can't complain or anything. I know exactly what I'm getting into. But he is the only spot that I could bet here. I don't know if it's a good bet or a bad bet. I, I just, I really like his marks. What's up? First time starter likes the three over there at Golf Stream. Thad's taking the four with a couple of uh, horses. Oh, he's doing a try there. I thought that was exact. He got a try going on. Uh, I, I hope this four doesn't get bet down anymore. I liked it a little bit better at seven to two or uh four to one. I might not have been as tempted at a uh, three to one. It's not that big of a difference, but I got to worry about the late money coming in. This horse, if, if he's two to one, I'm probably not going to like it. I didn't go crazy with the bet. I only put 25 bucks on him. That's it. Uh, race nine at Woodbine, we can't, we can't even really, all we can say is what the morning line is. The, our prices are dependent as the money comes in. Let's see, who are you asking about? Wait a minute. Who is he? 
the price finest sound over there in the ninth race. Let's see, I'm in the eighth race. Uh, 10 to 1. 10, 10 to 1, but right now that does that's just the starting point. We have uh we, we really don't know what he's gonna end up at. What are you you said you're getting like Tell me this four does not get bet down anymore. Looks like we might get some weather over there at Gulfstream, doesn't it? They must have rained or going to rain. You get you're getting twenty to one, and, and you guys lock in at your prices. Mm, I was hoping no one had speed. Let's see, four does get the lead. Okay. I'm going to go grab myself a water, hopefully come back with a winner. Did he hold on? Looks like he held on. All right. I was thinking about putting more on him, but I did not do it. I only put 25 bucks on him. Let's see, 411. Four eleven three seven. Dad with the trifecta. Lloyd poofed it with the winning place. Dad with a little boom. Ah, it's the only place I could have went. I was probably chicken shit. I was thinking about putting a hundred bucks on them, but then I just kept thinking, oh, it's a dangerous race for me. Oh, Boulder had that. Boulder said he was playing them. Not, nothing really special. I think I pick up an extra, I don't know, 80, 80 to 100, I think 100 bucks total, maybe. Oh, no, 90 for 20 bucks and then another what? I don't know. Pick up 100 bucks, probably. Nothing special.
All right, let's go back over to, ah, man, I, I waste a lot of time. Let's see, random is uh, about five to one. What kind of race is this? I'm still looking for speed and stalkers. Let's see. 16,000, nine winners of two lifetime. Let's see. One earned a heart last race. Ugly finish, but he did earn a heart. Thirty-one to one. I gotta get the favorite. Three is making a bit of a drop. That race, four races back, I do like that. Inside early pressing day. We had the four hole. One tick slower than the fastest winner. Matt strides with the fastest winner. One tick slower than the fastest winner. I think that's a good race. But other than that, his next three races aren't crazy good. Was running at a little bit higher of a level, though. I don't know about three to five on him. Two that race, uh, two back is okay. Last race, wrong running style. Trying seven furlongs. This horse might uh, be a little up. Oh, that's the horse that's scratched. Six earned a heart three races ago, but man, I, he, he just cannot stand. He looks like pure cheap speed. Although this is not the strongest field. Dude, I'm still interested in this one a little bit. Was that really a heart, though? He was six lengths off the lead. He got, he might have speed. You know what? I'm going to do another uh, Dutch bet right here. Six and a seven to win is all I'm doing. Or six and a one to win. I guess 40 to 1, I'm priced in. If I, I, I made this mistake yesterday. I kept looking at that one horse in the last race. That, that race irritated me other than I had a great day yesterday. I, I kept going back, looking at that one at 22 to 1, at the, all, the, all the way through the race, and then I don't use him at all, and he wins. I thought I was hoping that either uh, the seven or the one would get the lead. Okay, seven is getting the lead. Well, seven's going to have to duel. Oh, seven's not even going to duel. Seven's going to relax. Who is this nine on the lead? Oh, nine's a sprinter stretching out. I completely missed that. I'd say kind of dropping a little bit in class, but I don't like him that much. I, I think he can come back to the field. He's just going to hurt my seven, though. I don't think the one's moving fast enough. I think I'm going to have to root for the seven. I got to walk.
Mm, one and seven ran next to each other. Three was the favorite. All right, I've, I believe in the three now. I didn't think he looked that scary. I guess he was much the best in that group. Did he, re he, he did get third. Wait a minute. Oh, this is, this is a replay. I was like, wait a minute. Did I watch a stretch run at the right race? He actually had the lead. No, I am definitely not going to be embarrassed about that run. Three and a six came off the pace to catch him. So one actually had the lead deep in the stretch there. I, I was walking and didn't see that. Yeah, I read is good. I read is good. And you know what? Seven had the lead in the stretch too. I I wanted the speed horse, or I wanted a chance on the lead at the in the stretch. I got it. They, I just bet two long shots that weren't good enough. I needed a little tag team action. I needed that seven to veer out and take out the uh, three and the six, and that would have helped. He, ch he tried to veer out. Lloyd was all over that six horse. I don't mind making that stab. Actually, actually I get kind of a free roll at that stab hitting that four horse uh, last race, so. Oh, I bet the one in the six. I didn't bet. Why, why did I think I bet the seven? I bet the one in the six there. It was the six that I bet, too. Those were the two. Oh, six came off the pace. I didn't, I didn't like the seven. Fuck, I'm glad the seven didn't win because I, I would have realized that I did not bet the seven. I bet the one in the six there. Oh, why did the three have to be so damn good? Actually, you know what? That's a race where I probably should have played the try. I probably should have played the try there. I got a 43 to one that I knew I was betting. I seen the three with all the class. I just said he wasn't that scary, but I had no problem with him being the favorite. That's me not recognizing what I'm really betting. That that's me not recognizing where I was in a race. By the way, what did that try paid a couple races ago at Gulfstream where I had all the horses, but I, I didn't key right? I'm curious about that race. What, what race was that? Let's say I got $9 uh, for that. The 425 try. Oh, shit. I said I said I didn't think that try would pay uh 25 to 1. I said if it paid 30 to 1 or higher, I'm shocked that try paid 50 bucks. Right? That's the right race. Fifth race? Wrong form. Hold up. Let me let me look at this. I I got to I got to remember that tries are on my menu. I I got to remember when you're trying to learn something and do something new in racing, you yeah, that was the fifth race. I'm shocked that try paid 50 bucks. Oh.
Oh, Lou saying that I read. Oh, so something happened uh, out of the gate on that three horse. I read could have eased the three and no one would have questioned it. Oh. All right. I, I'm not going to be embarrassed about that race. I, I forgot that I, for some reason, I knew I was betting horses that got the lead. And as soon as a seven was up there, I thought I bet the seven, but I bet the six and the one. All right. I got to get, I, I got to get my numbers right. That's like the third number mistake I made today. Just talking. Let's say seventh race on the dirt over there at Gulfstream, 6,000. I should have enough time to do everything here. I at least want to give myself a chance. Seven horses in the race. Let's see the one horse. Uh, four races ago, stalking day. Uh, gave him an asterisk. Comes back. Goes too fast to win. Obviously, I like that race. Comes back. Just misses being average. Got no problem there. And then last race, inside was good. He was on the outside. I really got no problem with the uh, one at all, other than the price at two to one. Let's say the two, uh, four races ago, stalking day was a closer, asterisk. Uh, three races ago, bad rail, asterisk, had the rail that day. Two races ago, early pressing day, average, average, match strides with the slowest winner. And then last race, I just got him as average, 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 completely falling out of it. Let's see. Best thing he got going for him is he's off a recent class drop, but he tried twice at this level, and both of those races were pretty pathetic. Without, without a real excuse, too. I probably don't care for him. Let's see. The three horses out. Can I get my art right? I need my chicken stretch to look right. Let's see. Four is loaded with speed. Four races ago, inside of the track was good. I like that race. He had the five hole when I thought the inside was good. Average, average, slow. No problem with that race. Comes back, improves again. Just misses there. Went too fast to win. Comes back. I remember this horse. We took a big stand against this horse, and I had a I, I had a pretty major hit. I'm not sure what to do with this horse. I, the, he refused to break out of the gate. I remember being live uh, with this race, and we took a stand against him. Now, that race was still good that he came back to run. I got a note saying that the rail was bad. He had the two-hole, and he still went too fast to win. So I, I'm going to guess that he's healthy. I still I still don't trust this refusing to break nonsense, though. Let's say he's 11 to 1, so at least, at least he's not a favorite. So I could support him at 11 to 1. I guess that favoritism, I, or if he was bet, I probably wouldn't be interested. I'm just going to assume that I really like last race. And for what, and just, I, I just don't know what that refused. We even watched that replay and he just stood in the gate. He absolutely just stood in the gate. Five horse has absolutely no speed. Six horse ran on a bad rail last race. And the race before that, he ran against a good inside bias. He got some upside with those last two excuses. He's, he's actually dropping again in class. Oh, he's out. I got to get these scratches. I keep writing down the scratches on the board, but I keep forgetting to do it there. Let 
Let's see, the seven ran on a uh, bad rail day, but was nowhere near that rail. That's that's a nice race, but just broke his maiden. Uh, broke his maiden basically at the basement and uh, going to another basement race. How are they betting this race? Let's see, the one's the favorite. Let's see, they all start at 17%. Let me see what I can uh, do with uh, where I think my math is. I, think I like the seven. Oh, and there's an eight and a nine. I skipped over the eight and the nine. Eight horse got good speed figures. They just caught my eyes. I don't like speed figures, but they definitely caught my eyes. Let's see. Three races ago, early pressing day, ran against the bias and improved off of that race. He is on the upswing. Two races ago, just average. Won that race. Nothing's wrong with that. Uh, and then last race average again and was a uh, second best, it looks like. He beat the uh, nine horse that race. Nine horse comes from way off the pace. I'm not crazy about closers for the win position. Twenty four percent. Do I got to break this race down any more than that? Let's see. One does look pretty good. I think one uh, could use a few more points. I think four can use points, but with both of those horses being questionable, I could see a speed duel uh, developing here. If that speed duel develop, I think the uh, seven kind of gets first run. But I still think he's a little below these. I still think he's a little below these. I think I like that. Two, uh, 33% oh, there and 33% here on the eight. That gives me 121. Okay, I'm not going to worry about one point. 121 uh, point betting line. Let's see, I still got four minutes. So right now, I do think one's a little bit of an overlay. I got him at two to one as fair value. Not, not a big enough overlay and not the price that I want. Well... He's getting a little bit better. He might do it with the four horse. Four is a pretty good overlay. I got fair value at him at about five to one. So he's uh, he's being offered for twice that. I, I would not be scared to bet him. Five, five is a pretty big overlay. Five would uh, benefit if the pace is really fast though. I only got him as about a 10% chance to win this race, but uh, he is an overlay if he stays at 15 to 1. Seven's a little bit of overlay, but not as high as uh, some of the others. Eight's over bet here to me. I, I think I want to fade the eight here. I, I do think he's one of the, I think one and two probably has the best chance to win this race. 
but I don't always bet the horses that I like the best. Um, I'll, I'll use math. I, I don't think I want to do anything with the eight here. And nine's a little bit over bet. Let's see, if that if that pace duel develops and the one and the four kills each other, that is going to help the eight, though. It will help the eight, but I'm still not interested in the four to five proposition there. It'll help the seven. Help the five, but five's becoming less and less of a good bet in my mind. I think I might just play this where I want the speed to hold up. I think I'm going to aim this bet like I want speed, but I'm, I'm going to know that if this speed duel really gets hot, that uh, my chances of winning are going to go way down. Can I do a double here? I'm not going to... Shit, we got a torpedo route coming up. And there's a ton of speed in that race. I, I know the Tapita's been beating me. But there's a ton of speed in that race. Let me see if there's any scratches. The 10 and the 1 is out. Oh, wait a minute. Did I, am I in the right race? Am I handicapped in the right fucking race? Yeah, I'm handicapped in the right race. Oh, I'm not looking at the right race on the board. I went back. Let's see, just a seven scratched in the next race. Shit, seven one, was one of the horses that I thought would benefit. Six, six I wanted to use. Six and three I want to use in that next leg. Six and three. Let's see, I got to go back a race, so I'm betting the right race and to check the doubles. Fuck, they're saying the three is scratched next race. Oh, no, I'm looking at exactus. I'm going to play that double. Four is the biggest overlay I can get to. One, four, and I think it was seven. To the three and the six. Let me see the board one more time here. I think I'm even going to slide in an exact a box. I didn't check that exact, but I think it'll be okay. Four, uh, three in the 
Uh, three and a seven's paying 57 to one, 20, uh, 26 to one, something like that. And five ended up not being an overlay or not by much. It's a mile race. This is a mile race. That's all I'm doing here. I think I need to be a fan of speed right here. Come on, can four or one get the lead and not be killing each other? No, they're, they're going to want to kill each other. Eight's in a perfect spot. Oh, my God. Eight, eight's in such a good spot right here. Twenty-four. Boy, I, did, I wasn't a believer in this eight, but I think eight's the scariest looking horse here. Nine's getting a really good trip. Everyone's getting that speed duel kind of happened, and both of the speed, I think, are going to die. Maybe this one can hold on, but I'm kind of giving up hope the way. Nah, he's hooked. He's hooked. I think I got to root for the seven. Seven's my only real hope here. And I think hope is kind of running out. Come on, seven. Come on, you're a big boy. Give, give me, give me a live. Just give me a live with the seven. Come on, you're a big guy. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, he's not coming fast enough. That line's coming out. Two got the two off that big class drop. I did, man. I kept staring at him, and I just kept looking at those six thousand dollar claimers, and he did not. Oh, oh! I thought he was like twenty to one. Dude, I, I seen the class drop, and I kept looking at him, and I kept just saying, well, if he if he was any good, he should have ran better those last two races. Nice job. They got away with one on me there. They definitely got away with that one. I thought the, I thought the eight could have been beat there, so I'm glad they beat the eight. That was the right race for me to be in. I just uh, didn't have the wrong opinion and decided to go with the speed, even though I seen that speed duel. All right, I'm going to lose that race. All right, let's go to Aqueduct. I don't think I hit anything at Aqueduct. I don't think I played too much there yet. They're going in the sixth race there. The only the only race, well, I, I don't mind the bet that I did make last race, though. Two-year-old made in special weight. Let's see, the one horse got an excuse, two horse got an excuse, but they're both ugly, ugly running lines. Three rain against the speed, or three, uh, three's the favorite. That's a slow pace. I question that race. If he was trying to go, this is one of those races. He chased the slowest pace of the day. If he was trying to get the lead, that's an ugly race. If he was a raider, 
a stalker and the pace was so slow, the horse might have went wire to wire. Depending on how you interpret that race. It was a four horse ran on speed favoring track. Didn't have speed. I like the excuse there. Man, three is seven to five. I want to play, but this is a, this is a dangerous race right here for me. This is normally a race that I would sit out of. Basically, uh. Hard, hard to say horses that only ran one race with their running style and how good that race was. A lot of horses improved second time out. The most interesting horse to me is that, uh, uh, let me get the number right, is that full horse at nine to one. He's the most interesting horse that I think I could reasonably get to here. I say none of these horses took action first time out other than the five at six to one light action. Five is out. Do I want to do anything here? Seven and eight are first-time starters. I'm just ignoring them. You know, six ran a useful first race. Average, average, slow, kind of close to the pace. They said lost footing at the break. Three, they're just betting because of that speed fear, but in a way, I think I could pick a hole in that race. Well, let me, I'm going to try to look up that chart real quick. I got a feeling I want to try to play that four and that six horse here, but I do want to look up something real quick. I want to look up that threes race to see if I really want to do this. Saratoga, August 17th. That was kind of a speed favoring day right there. That was August 17th. Coming out of the fifth race. That was the slowest race of the day. You know what? I can even say that was a speed favorite day. There was four races that ran that day. Three of them went wire to wire. One of them only come from one length off the lead. And that horse was a super favorite. But you know what? I just seen that the two's coming out of that same race. Dude, I'm, I'm cheering for the two, three, four, six. I'm going to see if I got enough time to do anything here. I'm I'm running really out of time here though. I can't really do a full horse box with the three. I know what I'm gonna do. Two, four, six in a box real fast. Three in a key box. 
No, three straight with the two four. No, three in a key box with the two four six. And then a small bet on the four and, or four and six to win. This is a really loose play for me right here. Really loose. I pro I'm probably going to regret doing this. This this is where my pain is self-imposed some days. I got a shot. I got the lead. Come on. Give me the big one. Give me the big one here. Bring me this 4 6. Bring me that 4 6. Ah, I couldn't get, can't beat the three. I'll hit the exacta, right? I'll hit the exacta. Oh, I got excited when I seen four and six at the uh, top of the stretch. Oh, three was so much the best. Maybe I should have did try there. Maybe I should have did a try instead of the three on top of the exacta. Maybe I should have did the try. Can you guys stiff a chalk? Why the fuck is racing so goddamn honest? I'm, I'm sick of racing being honest. <laughs> oh, I hope that's a decent ticket. I, I don't think it's going to be great. Uh, it's not. 16 to 1, it's not going to be great. In fact, it's going to be a push. It's, it's basically going to be a push. I'll, I'll make a couple measly dollars there. I did 60 on this, 60 on this, 30 on this, 90 and 20 on the two winners. For a total of 130, it looks like I'll probably get back 160. It would have been better if I didn't key box if I didn't key box this, it would have been better. All right, I survived. I, I guess I survived there. I don't want to survive too many bets. And that looks like that's a three, but that's a two right there. Although I did have some good outs. If it comes in six three, it would have been okay. If it come in uh 4-6, it would have been a nice hit. 6-4, it would have been a nice hit with the win in the $5. Yeah, I, I had some outs there, but it's going to be just a little bit better than a push. I guess it's better because the other way I was just going to bet the 4 and the 6, if I didn't look up that race and realized and upgrade that to a speed track, I would have not uh, had that. I would have just had the 4 and the 6 to win and had a... Uh, you know, I would have lost complete, but then I, I risk more to gain very little. I, I did risk more to gain very little. Yeah, it is what it is. I survived. I'm living in the dangerous land. What's up, Rex? Who else slipped in here late? Any, anybody else slip in here? By the way, I didn't even see how many people are in here today. It doesn't feel, it doesn't seem like a lot with the chat room.
46 people on Saturday? Man. All right, I did get 16 to 1 on that exacta. I, I dodged a bullet. I dodged a little bullet there. What's our rolling? Oh, we're doing good. Actually, I hit three races. One of them was a simple uh, win bet on a $9 horse. I hit a win bet with a thir uh, 13 to 1 shot, but missed the exactus. And then I just had this like little kind of a little profit kind of race. So I'm, I'm hanging in there pretty uh, okay. But what's up, Tyler? It, it could be a lot worse, that's for sure. Man, this race right here, if they go wire to wire on the Tapita, I'm just going to have to admit that uh, the track changed. I'm, I'm just going to have to admit that the track changed, I guess. Let's see, I got 13 minutes. You know what? I'm, I'm way behind on the tic-tac-toe board, right? I don't remember doing any... Uh, I'm kind of way behind. Let me let me get that. Let, let's see what's going on. I don't need 13 minutes to make some decisions. Oh, and I'm going to want to see what that uh, try over there at Aqueduct. I probably should have did the try there. Why don't I remember that race? Let's see this four that this uh four horse that that uh in that baby race that I hit. He went wire to wire, but he did it from the three hole. So I'm gonna put the four there. That's right. I want to have the number there, but he I, I'm gonna know that he was from the three hole. Then what happened last race? The two came off the pace. I'm not sure how. I think the two closed last race, right? That two at six to one at Gulfstream that came up the inside. He either stalked or he closed. I'm going to put him bordering the line. Dude, could the inside be coming back a little bit at Gulfstream? Four, 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 two. Could that could that inside be coming back on the dirt right now? I wouldn't be pissed if they are. And Gulfstream's going in the eighth race. Let, let me do a, why I got the charts up. Let me do the same for a, Aqueduct.
First race at 9 won't wear the wire. Second race, full horse won't wire to wire. Third race, eight won't wire to wire. All different surfaces. Fourth race, post five won that. Stalking. That was on the dirt. So, so far at Aqueduct, we just got a lot of different uh, surfaces going on so far. Speed's been good on everything so far, except for the uh, dirt sprints. But we we got no more than two. Uh, most of the race, we, we're all over the place. Let's see, Gulfstream. Why does it feel like we had th uh, three torpedo turf races? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I look at the chart wrong? Do, do I got a race that uh? Do I got a race that was on the torpedo and I missed it? Put it in the wrong column. I thought there was already three torpedo route races. I'm pretty sure I played what I thought was three torpedo route races. Let me see something here. First race was all weather. Third race is all weather. Fourth race was all weather, but that was a sprint. Fifth race right here. This four is supposed to be there. So speed and stalkers today on the torpedo. Wow. All right. I've been warned. I've been warned that uh, speed's been okay on the torpedo today, I guess. Uh, can I get to the right race? Let's see, one, uh, three races ago, average, 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 stalking. Was that a torpedo router sprint? That was a route. Two races ago, stalking, closing day, average, 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 close to the pace, and then a uh, stalk last race, fastest winner of the day. Horse might go to lead and might stalk here. The two horse, I am, I think this horse tries to go lead here. I need the two to go lead. I don't like the two at all. Three horse I was excited about. I thought he was going to benefit if this pace is super hot. Now that I see he's nine to five, I'm not so excited. Four horse got great marks. Uh, you know, all me, the Tapita's been bad, or speed has not been great on the Tapita. This horse is just a prisoner trying to go wire to wire every race on the Tapita. Four races ago, went too fast. The win still had a nice second by a K hair. Two races ago, bad rail stalking closing day, went too fast to win. Nice race. Last race stalking, or two races ago, stalking closing day, ran against the bias, still went uh, good. And then last race stalking day, Went too fast to win. Probably to me the best looking horse on paper, but you guys know that uh, I just don't want to bet speed on the Tapita right now. I still don't want to do it, but he's the best looking horse to me on paper. 
Five's a sprinter stretching out. A lot of times if I see a stalker, I, I move them up one step. So if I see a closer, a lot of times stepping, uh, stretching out in distance, I say, well, he's probably going to be a, a stalker. If I see a stalker, I say there's a chance that he could be a front runner. It's kind of what he did. First two races at a sprint, he looks like a stalker. They stepped him up to a route race. He's a, all of a sudden a front runner. Not as dangerous. He's lightly raced, so I don't even know what his running style is here, but I'm educated guessing, and that's kind of how I look at that. I think he, I think he might be on the lead here. I, I'm looking at this betting board, and I don't, I don't see where it's good for me at. Other than the four being, the, uh, to me, thinking the best horse on paper and, and being shocked that he's four to one, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they're kind of off of him because they just think he's uh, a quitter. I don't believe he's a quitter. I, I believe he's been running on a track that's just not kind to him. I thought the three, I was trying to get alive to the three and the six. I think it was a three and a six. Because I thought that maybe uh, if the four, the two, and the one all go to the lead, that finally I would get my off the pace uh, running. But right now, the way they're betting this race, I just don't think I'm interested in this race. You got four to six horses at uh, three to one or under. Looks like it's uh, raining out there. I'm just going to say I don't want to deal with this race. What's up, Saul? Catherine is making that chili. Yesterday you were making chicken and, uh, what, chicken wings? Now you're going with the chili? I do like, I don't like chicken, but I do like chili. Ooh, I like some chili. <laughs> Catherine says, okay, I'm on. She got some chili over there for me. I knew this guy that used to make some fantastic chili, man. If you love meat, that dude used to put venison, bacon, sausage, all in a chili. Oh, man, that was so good. So good. I hate leftovers, but chili is something that gets better over time, too. Chili's like one of the rare exceptions that I'll eat uh, leftover. <laughs> you got a plane ticket coming to New York? <laughs> yeah, these kind of races right here, uh, they seem like easy races, but to me, these are the harder races. Like, there's not much room for error. You know, and the rewards are all on the low side of math. Let's look at the exactas. Is there any exactas where they're really making a mistake in? Am I in the right race? Wait a minute. I think they are making some mistakes in the exacta. No, I was looking at the 3-2. I didn't scroll over to see the 3-1. Three, 3-1's one. Three, paying 12 bucks. 3-4's paying 18. 3-6 is paying 15. 1-3's paying 16. 1-4's paying 9. They're, they're, they're all being hammered, no matter which way you look at it. Let's see, Mac likes the 1 and the 4 over there. Ooh, cornbread. I'm a fan of cornbread.
Ooh, I got I got to figure out what I'm going to do tonight. Yeah, last night we had to get I, I got I'm I'm home alone. I had to go get McDonald's last night. Fuck, I don't know what I'm going to eat tonight. I haven't even thought about it. All I know is I got to drive and get my food. It's getting dark earlier here and my 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 vision is terrible at night. I got to get in that car before uh, probably like 7 o'clock. I usually eat at about 8, 9 o'clock. I can't wait. Oh, Scotty did do a show today. That's why I got lower viewership probably. <laughs> He, he's done for today. Oh, you're getting uh, you're getting nine to two on the four. Yeah, we're getting three to one. So yeah, yeah, you got a you got a better uh, math over there. You definitely got better math on the four. Our four is three to one. You're getting a point and a half more. That's a big difference long term. Yeah, I might have to get pizza. I had pizza the first day she left, and then I... Uh, we had the uh, Wednesday late show, or no, the Thursday late show. So I saved four slices for the next dinner. And I started walking up the stairs. I dropped my, I started, I dropped my tablet and I sacrificed the pizza. To, uh, fucking dropped all four slices on the ground. I tried to brush it off. It, it wasn't good. I, I, we got wooden stairs, and I guess uh, we're behind on cleaning our stairs. The Roomba can't do the stairs, I guess. I, I had to, oh, they had so many pepperonis. You couldn't even see the cheese. They had so many pepperonis. It was so, the, all those slices were up. So I had to give up. Uh, Bentley got all the cheese and the slices on all the pizza. He, he was happy. I, I had to eat a I had to eat what was here because I, I worked out in our fast food places all closed too early so there was no option for me to even go get food. I had to eat fucking chips, an ice cream sandwich and a yogurt for dinner. Oh we got a nice we got a nice I'm in a nice area. I'm in a really nice area. The problem with Grubhub, dude, I, I'm one of those guys, if I go get fast food, that, that food got to be eaten in the car. Dude, I can't, I can't get Grubhub. Uh, the t oh, dude, I'm so, I'm so sensitive about temperature. I'm, I, if I get a sandwich, fuck, you can't drive a sandwich home. I, I can't do soggy bread. I can't do any of the DoorDashes or Grubhub. And then even if you say you get it from a real restaurant, they cram all the food. Dude, I'm a child. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a child. You you can't you can't have my food touching. <laughs> They'll cram them all in those little uh, carry out things, and I'll be like, I can't I can't eat any of it. Shit, McDonald's. I'm only two miles away from. McDonald's, those fries are 100% gone before, as I'm pulling out of the parking lot, me and Bentley just chows down on the truck, uh, and if they give me shitty fries, then it's over, I'm, I'm pissed. Even driving my Big Mac home is worth a risk, I gotta tell them no sauce. Because otherwise it'd get too soggy. <laughs> oh, 
Holy crap, you've never been to McDonald's in your life? Wow. Dude, I'm a fat guy. You, 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 if you knew all my eating crazy disorders, you couldn't believe how fat I am. <laughs> I'll be like, how do you, how do you put on weight? You don't eat leftovers. You don't eat anything that's soggy. If it, if it, if someone gives you food that touching, you, you're throwing it away. <laughs> oh, burritos! I can't do burritos. That, that, that goes on the soggy side of food. Let's say two got the lead over there. I don't think the two could go wire to wire, so I definitely don't think they're going to go wire to wire here. But I did no bet over here at Gulfstream. I just didn't think there was much upside here. And four came down to two to one now. Four's probably the horse that I'm rooting for just because he earned my best marks, I guess. But really, I'm kind of looking for someone to come way off the pace here, because I'd rather be I'd rather the I'd rather be confident in what I think the track is doing. Oh, three went up in the betting to four to one. I think at one time the three was the favorite when I said I was excited about the three. And then uh, I seen the three. I think three at one time was nine to five. He drifted back up. They're coming off the pace. This is this is going to be three, three or six. Or maybe even one. One's, one's still lively. So it is going to be the six. Uh, I always like to review my bets. Now, I didn't bet that race, but I was trying to get a live to the six and the three. So when I when I go back and, like, review my tickets, you know, I'm, 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 I'll say, okay, You know, I was trying to get alive to the winner there. I was just wrong in that first leg. Who won that first leg? Two horse won that race. They came off the pace. When I go back and review and I don't have a winner in either legs, I'm like, oh, that's, that's, a, that's to me is, well, unless the prices are super uh, long. You know, I can forgive myself if I'm, you know, doing something that's really, you know, really big. But I always like to go back and say, you know, at least I had the winner in one leg. You know, the bet's probably not as bad as just being a loser uh, completely. But in race, I, I thought the six was also going to be a price. He ends up being two to one, so... You know, I didn't think there was much upside here. I think he came in 6-1, 6-1-3 maybe. Yeah, 6 one three, four. So it was all the contenders. It's It, it was just they were going to force you to be super char sharp about which ones you were going with. I'll be right back. Oh, shit, my knee went out.
Dude, I just I just went upstairs and looked at Bentley, and I think I just realized that I didn't give him breakfast today. I don't think I fed him. Oh, well, he got it now. No one calls social services on me. I don't think I gave him breakfast. Right? Terrible. I, you know, I, I'm just looking at him and like, I woke up. I gave him his dental treat. We went to the bathroom. We went and got a cigar and I marked up forms. I didn't give him breakfast. Are you sure we will survive? I see Belmont's going off another turf race. Bad daddy, you're right, dude. If mama heard that I said that, she'd be up my oh man, I'd be I'd be in big trouble. I would be in big trouble. Let's see this six horse that's on the lead. We know how bad speed was over there at Saratoga. This horse I got winning on a stalking closing day and being fast. That's a really nice race. I probably wouldn't have been interested in this race. I wouldn't have known what this uh, four horse was. I wouldn't have really known what to do with the one and the three here. I probably wasn't that interested in this race. <laughs> Bet all the plants are dead. Yeah, I, I'm not. The, uh, I have not watered our uh, plants. We did get rain though. All our plants are outside, other other than the hangers. I didn't miss anything by not looking at this race, I don't think. It looks like the one, uh, five's the only horse that uh, matters in that race. It's it's going to be first, second choice there. First, second choice, five, five, uh, five got a third at a big price. But other than that, I don't think I missed anything there. One was coming off a bunch of graded races, including a grade win. Two had a bunch of graded races. I said I wanted to know what to do with him, mainly because he doesn't really look like a turf horse. He's only tried to turf once and didn't do anything, but he did have uh, big races. Four was a horse that uh, I wanted to know what to do with. And like I said, six had a good mark, but uh, I, I still don't want speed to be good over there at Aqueduct. So I don't think I would have done anything there. Even if I had time, nothing looked too appealing. Oh, his friend, it's either his uh, buddy, uh, is walking by or his girlfriend's walking by? Or someone's at the door. But the way he's scurrying from window to window, that's some that that's uh that's his boyfriend boy or uh his buddy or his girlfriend. Let's see, we got eleven races over there at uh Golf Stream. See. I'm just curious about how active I've been so far today. One, two, 
three. Four. Five. Oh, I didn't write that one down. Five. Six. Six bets over there at Gulfstream so far. And not many bets over there at Aqueduct. Let's see, six. Seven. Sounds like I was really active, but there, there was a couple races where it was like a 20 or $25 bet, so not even eight. There's like three or four of them where they didn't even add up nine. Oh, wow. I guess I was a little bit more active than I thought. So nine plays today and hit three of them. Hit three of them. But nothing, nothing too special other than that 13 to 1 winner. But even, even him, I did not hit the exact. So it's not a, not a huge day. And then one of the races was a push. And one of the races was like 25 bucks to win on a 7 to 2 shot. So not, not killing it today. Oh, doing okay, but definitely. I'm, in a, I'm, I'm probably in a space where my day could still go either way. Ooh, lots of horses in this race, so I got to be, uh, I did that again somehow. Does someone know how to lock these cells? Oh, I'm reading it wrong. I, I, I didn't make a mistake. Everyone just starts at uh, 12 points. 12 points and 7.3. Why does that sound wrong? Oh, no. 12% chance is about... Right. Is that right? I got to lock those so I, I stop confusing my damn self. I actually think that's right, though. Yeah, 12 is 12% uh, 12 is 7.1. 7 or I just got to learn them by... Uh, All right, this race is going to be kind of, I don't know about tough, but let's see. The Peter Route race with two-year-olds. So they did come off the pace last race, but we finally got a pace where there was more than one horse going to lead. Little starter stakes over here. Now, usually, I, usually, uh... When I got a route track that I think is backing up, I don't like speed horses stretching out for some reason.
One horse won his first race out, just uh, slowest winner of the day. Stretching out, I, I just, for some reason, I just don't like that angle. When I when I like horses stretching out, I'm usually betting them on the front end uh, range. Like, I don't mind a uh, sprint to route. I don't hate it, but usually when I'm trying to do something there, I'm trying to take advantage of speed. And it just seems like when I try to bet these uh, horses that look like a closer at a sprint, a lot of times, for some reason, they don't have the same kick at the distance. Now, the horse is lightly raced and did nothing wrong. So it, it is kind of dangerous to take that opinion, and he is 6-1, to one, but I, I do have that thought where a lot of times I don't care for that. Now, this race, we are going to have a lot of horses stretching out for the first time. A lot of them. You know, this is a two-year-old starter stakes. Most of the horses are going to probably win within their first two or three races. Kind of just a hard spot to, uh, you know, these, these tracks, I, races like this, I usually uh, like better when I think there's a super strong bias. We, we've we seen a couple of horses uh, do, went wire to wire. Seen a couple of horses stalk today. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Let's see, three horse, first race out, just slow, 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 comes back, uh, bad rail day, early pressing, uh, slowest winner of the day. They're just going to be horses that kind of trying to find themselves, and they're, we're, we're, they're kind of donors, and everybody's trying to find out what level they're at kind of deal. Four would have the running style that I normally want to deal with here. Never broke his maiden, so at least the barn's saying they th think something of him. I mean, that is the running style that I usually want on a Tapita route, and he's 24 to 1. You got a bunch of horses that are stretching out, but some of the some of these horses, even though they won at a sprint, they they you know, they might turn out to be better routers. See, we're kind of, uh, they're always put me in a bind about what to expect in a race like this. Seven's another horse that hasn't even broke his maiden, but the barn kind of think they got something here. Ten horse at least one on the tapita and he won a uh, routing. So has the eleven. It'd be really hard for me to uh, put a betting line on this race, just with so many like distance changes here. It's it's th these kind of races are really hard. You know, unless I got like an inside bias that I'm really uh, excited about or a speed bias or something like that. Closing bias are a lot of times uh, the hardest bias. Even though I do well on them and I enjoy them, they're, they're a lot of times because you're a betting position. But I might play the four horse. I'm not saying I'm not going to do anything. I might be interested in the four horse because even if I think he has a 10 to 1 chance in this race or a 10% chance in his race, if he's giving me 22 to 1, I might be willing to do a bet there. But I probably don't have too much insight for this race overall. The 11 I could get to, but he's 3-1. to one. You know, there's more danger than there is upside for me to take a 3-1 to one here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Is Churchill or uh, Woodbine going off? I see zero minutes to post. Let's see. Is this uh, Churchill live? Does anyone got a Churchill uh, picks up here? What's up, In?
Lloyd hit a, a 46 to 1 or a combination for 46 to 1. Nice hit, Lloyd. Yeah, it looks like Churchill, it's going to be a uh, five going to win this race. Five, three, four, I'm guessing. Kind, kind of very chalky there. Let's see, Woodbine's uh, running two right now. Kathleen on that five horse over there at Churchill. Oh, the one at Woodbine is one to two. He definitely looks a bit interested. There he goes. Five horse just crashed into the rail all by himself. Just bumped into the rail. Bumped into the rail. Or no, yeah, now he's angling. Five, five had a funny trip. The one to two is going to handle business easily there. Three got second. One three. I'm not sure who got third. What does the next couple of races look like? We got a t uh, dirt, dirt sprint. In the tenth race, might as well might as well not waste time. Let me get some scratches and everything. Eleventh race, the five is out. That's gonna be a lot of first time in a baby race. That's gonna be on the Tapita route. That's gonna be the same problem as this race for the most part. Other than these horses haven't done anything special yet. These horses are pretty ugly looking. Running lines, that is. Really ugly looking running lines. I'm, I, I, I think it's going to be a stretch that I like the last race at Gulfstream today. I, th I think it's going to be a stretch that I can do anything there. Tenth race looks okay. Let's see. Let me look at the tenth race and see if I can do a double uh, going into this race to the tenth race. Is there anyone I like in the tenth race? Speed's been good so far at Gulfstream today, I think. Let's see. Both of my winners were, or two of the winners were at Gulfstream, and they both uh, went wire to wire. I do remember that. I don't think I got to look at that. And I do think uh, I did say something earlier, like maybe that inside's coming back. I don't think anyone on the dirt won from outside the four hole today. I think it has been kind of inside on the dirt today. Although one, two, three all looks like solid horses in the next race. One, two, and three. I was hoping to find one horse and go wide in the other race. How are they supposed to bet that next race? Let's see. I got to get back to the... Seven is going to be the favorite, and he is going to be on the outside. He looks good. He'll benefit from a speed duel. But speed's been pretty good today. Dude, I don't think he, they got him as an even money six to five morning line. I don't think, fuck, this two horse looks pretty damn good. So does it, you know what? Pick 
could I do anything with this? I'll probably just do the four to win here if I'm because I don't got that many uh Let's see, I said I was a little interested in the eleven. What are they betting here? Six at six to five? Oh, wow, I didn't see those hearts on him uh, two races ago. Man, if he tries to go wire to wire, we just seen uh, a couple races where they did come off the pace a little bit. He's stretching out for the first time. There are there are like reasons to try to bet, bet, beat him. Can I do a little something here? I could get to the 11 a little bit. I'm still interested in the four a little bit. I think at 35 to one though, I'd probably just play the four to win. Shit, they're getting in the gate. I'm still trying to... No, no, no. I got to get back to the ninth ray. Ah, fuck. I think that's going to cost me. Fuck, I don't remember. I'm going to do a bet on the four to win. Double. 11 and 6 to the 1, 2, 3, I guess. And a smaller double. 4 to the 1, 2, 3. I'm not going crazy here, though. I can make a case for the, oh, fuck. I can make a case for the eight here a little bit. Maybe maybe I'm mistaken by not playing this race. Ah, it's overall a dangerous race. Let's see, the pace on that nine would have been, yeah, it was a slow pace. It, it's so hard. It's so hard for me to know which horses get the distance. I would say at seven to one, if you like them, I would, I would, not, I would, I always play my prices. But I, I don't have a solid opinion here. It's just, I'm, I'm kind of throwing up some. Hey, what's up, Cindy? Six is rating here, so I think six is getting the good trip now. I, I threw him in on that double. I think all the doubles were paying like 23 to one. 
Let's see, four looks hopeless. Six looks like he has a ton of, oh, my 11's up there. I'd, I'd, I'd obviously rather it be the six over the, uh, or uh, the 11 over the six, but six looks loaded. Eight's coming pretty fast. Come on, 11. Ten's not going away. I need the 10 to go away. Eh, come on, 11. Get up there. Get up there with, uh, it's going to be the six. Well, come on, 11. One more time. One more time with the 11. Uh, it's going to be the six. We'll be a get alive. Four rallied a bit. Kiki, Kiki texts me. She's watching the show. Did she, did she hear that I forgot to feed Bentley? I'm telling on myself. <laughs> I'm telling on myself I forgot to feed Bentley. I hope I'm right about the payouts uh, with the six. Let me, let me see the difference here. Yeah, Kathleen, I'm playing a lot of chalk today, ain't I? Although I didn't get to check the prices with the six, actually I'm happy with two of the three uh, payouts I'm, I'm going to be alive to. 48 to 1, 30, 13 to 1, 35 to 1. It's pretty safe to say I'm not happy with the 13 to 1. Cindy with the kaboom there. The 11 would have been better, better, but not, not, I would have been better, but not crazy amount better. Oh, I thought I seen the four rallying. I thought the four got like fourth. He, I guess I was seeing something else. I guess I lost track of uh, how many horses crossed the line when I finally seen the four. Well, I'm happy with two of the three pick threes that I'm uh, I'm alive to. I'll be right back again. Let's see, and I, I'm going to look at that exact, but I don't think I could have played that exact. Though. Any chance it overpaid? I doubt it. No, it's paying 11, 11 to 1. Oh, shit. And how, how is Belmont and uh, Gulfstream all of a sudden on top of each other? I thought that was just the last race. I didn't realize. Uh... Let's see, they're going in the eighth race over there. When did they get so close to each other?
What's up, 888? Oh, Cindy, you had that 10. Yeah, you definitely would have been better off with the 10 winning. I'm guessing you might have hit the try over there. Let's see, the two coming from Del Mar, I just don't, not sure what he is. I'm, I'm just not sure. Let's see. Four got some good marks. Oh, he won a uh, state bread allowance in 1X. I say four got some good marks recently. So does a seven. So does the eight, but he earned his while routing, or she earned hers while routing. He earned his while routing. But I'm not doing anything here. She's still watching. I'm, su I'm surprised she didn't yell at me for forgetting to feed Bentley. I need her to come back. Oh. Let's see who gets the lead here. I thought four was pretty fast, but not fast enough to get the lead. Two got the lead. Is two the uh, Del Mar horse? Yeah, he is a Del Mar horse. He does have speed, too. Ooh, 34 to 1. And Catherine got him. She goes, what the fuck is wrong with you? Irresponsible is the answer. Another word I don't know how to spell. Let's see if I can get it uh, close. Ear. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not even I'm not even in the ballpark. Did that two hold on for a second? Oh, it doesn't help, Catherine. She didn't she had two four nine. Uh Let's see. Charles is happy with that three horse. Oh, he didn't hold on for second. I thought maybe there was a chance that he got second. He got third. Now she now she's questioning her life decisions. Uh, she's like dumbass. Kathleen's <laughs> gonna do drown herself with some wine.
Uh oh, Cindy with the bomber alert. Cindy with the bomber alert. Who is Cindy into here? Oh, there are there are a few bombs there. Let's see, Lou says the bots got that 100% wrong. They vet the wrong horse. The exacta is huge. Let's see, there's two chalks over there, Cindy. So Cindy doesn't like the uh, five and the nine. Cindy's trying to get around that five and the nine over there at uh, Woodbine. Ooh, liking this beyond my budget. Or is that the horse's name or you're liking this where you're going beyond? Oh, that's the horse's name. I thought you were saying that you were going to be liking this race so much that you were going beyond your budget. That's the horse's name there. 25 to 1. Good luck. All right, let's see. Let's make sure my doubles, are, I, I want to make sure I'm still in a good place. I'm alive to the one, two, three over here at Gulfstream. Let's check these will pays. All right, I'm, I'm happy with two of the three of the bets that I got. Two of the three of the bets. It's 48 to 1, 35 to 1, and the bad one is 13 to 1. And even my, my bad one, I make a little bit of money, but I know, I know who I've really got to be rooting for. The one or the three. Seven I knew was going to be the favorite. I, th I thought uh, the inside has been looking pretty good today. I probably don't want, I don't think I'm going to contend. Uh, I don't think there's no need for me to uh, continue a bet here, though. Let's see, one I think benefits if the inside's good and uh, he gets a nice stalking trip. I think he's capable of that. I do like the two. I really like the two. Two races ago, ran on a bad rail stalking closing day or bad rail day, went too fast to win. I love when I give a horse, an ex when I have an excuse on a horse, his speed fear goes way down. He comes right back, goes right back up. I do like him, but he's my, he's my worst outcome. I still think the three got a fair shot. Going too fast to win in a few races. Shit, now that I started peeing, man, I got to pee every two seconds. In fact, I should take Bentley out. Going to be tough to beat this one. One's in giant form, but there's a... One has been competing at a little bit lower level for a little bit. He's been beating up on the $20,000 claimer state, state breads. Is this a state bread race? This race is probably a little bit tougher than what he's been beating up on. Four, I don't, I don't like the fours form. I've won it, broke his maiden running against the bias. Uh, might be some upside there, but I don't have him. And six just been off a year. Let's see, I'm just going to do a quick betting line.
I think it was a four that I don't really like. I got him at about a 5% chance. Six been off a year, hard for me to support him. I think that's about where I see this race. So I'm giving two and a seven the best shot. Two to us at two to one as where my fair value is at right there. So seven right now is a little bit under over bet. Two is a little bit of overlay, but only a half a point. I got the one fair value at about five to one. The three fair value at about five to one. I don't really like the four. And I even got the five. I don't like the four or the six. I'll be right back. I'm going to take Bentley out. And myself. Dark upstairs. We got giant fucking windows. It's freaking still dark. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Ross got some stuff. Oh, Max, you you like uh, American racing more than the British racing? There, there's more money in the American racing. Is that what that comment is? Let's see. I want to flip over there to Woodbine. I'm not. This, oh, these are. This was uh, the Gulfstream race that I'm alive in. That that's just how I see the odds. Right right now, I don't think I'm going to do anything more there. Let's see. I'm going to go over to Woodbine and watch Woodbine. Woodbine and Churchill look like they got a minute to post, so I'm, I'm going to go and uh, watch the Woodbine race. I know uh, Cindy got a play over here at Woodbine. Anyone got any more action at Woodbine?
Matt Gray, what's up, Matt? Matt Gray has the one over there. Everything on the one at Woodbine. Woo, you guys got some you guys got some heat on this one horse. Peanut at the track. What's up, Peanut? Likes the seven horse over there. Another uh, solid price horse, seven to one. West, what is West Bloomfield? The high school team or something? Is that, is that the football team over there? Matt Gray got some win place and show with that one and some exactus. Okay. Let's see. Kathleen's coming in with the three, five, seven, eight. Three, five, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Bunch of prices there, too. Uh oh. Did my video just freeze? Video froze. We got it. Oh, and then you're going to Kid Rock, huh? You might be able to find Bill. Bill go. Bill went on the Kid Rock cruise years ago. You might want to look around the crowd. Maybe you'll see Bill for me. Yeah, he he uh like he he's a let's see two got the two in the uh four got the lead one does not look like he's in bad position looks like the favorites are coming off the pace I don't see uh let's see five is the closest favorite. Five and nine are kind of making the same move. Oh, no, nine's in front of the five. I think that's a seven that's making the nice move on the outside there. I think seven's making a super nice wide move. Five's coming wide, too. Let's see. This is going to be a two favorite. Seven's the only uh, price horse that's up there. He's still got a chance, but... uh. He's weakening a bit. Eh. Nine seven five eight that came in. Nine seven five eight. Charles with a boom boom there. Three, five, seven, eight over there at uh, Woodbine for Catherine. Let's see, Charles says 300 to win in place on five curly. Curly Jack. I don't know. Or, oh, he might be uh, talking about a Churchill. Oh, he's talking about Churchill. Oh, 
Oh, nice rice, 10 to 1. Oh, and you got the exact over there. Nice, nice. Fifty-four, fifty-four to one in second. Nice, ten to one over fifty-four to one. That'll do it, Charles. Woo! Seven thousand dollar day or something like that, or a seven thousand dollar hit. Rolex day. He's calling out the Rolex day. Nice, Charles. Oh. Let's see, I'm looking back at this board. Do I want to do anything? I, I didn't think that I could do anything here. Let's see, I can't play a double. Let me look at some of these exactas to see if I really want to sit out here. Got doubles alive to the one, two, three. Let's see, I don't like the four and the six. Do I really want, do I really need or want to do anything here? Let's see, next race at Woodbine, I, I, I got a feeling I'm not going to want to do anything with that race as of now. Or I'm, I'm sorry, at Gulfstream. Unless something odds wise is just super out of whack in my head. That that's kind of a race that I probably shouldn't be in unless uh, they force me to bet odds wise. What's left over there at Aqueduct? Aqueduct, we just got the ninth race. Just a regular allowance one X kind of race there. Tenth race, I'm probably not interested in. There's probably only three races that I could even be interested in uh, between the two tracks. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Well, I just think the seven's way over bet here at Gulfstream. Really, the only thing that I might want to do is beef up if the two wins. I got a double cashing, but that's not a great. I, that's not my uh, a great double. I really don't want to use the seven at all. I'm gonna pl I'm gonna play that exact a uh, little bit more two over the uh, one and three. Try to try to beef that up a bit. Try to beef that up. If I'm I should have checked this exactly with the seven on top of at least the one. Let me just make sure. Nah, that's fifteen dollars. If the seven wins here, he just wins. Hey, what's up, Grandma? Oh. Let's see, if two wins a double and I hit the exacta, that ends up being my best case scenario here. 
Otherwise, I'm rooting for the one and the three. If two wins the double and I lose the exact, uh, it's basically uh, going to be like, probably like a push if that. God, I am feeling like a racehorse today. Two seven? There's no way that was two one, right? Two seven probably, seven two. All right, the two are at least gonna win. Boy, that was close. I thought that I thought the seven could definitely get beat there. That was close. I needed a seven to uh, fold there, and I would have had a shot at those exactas. Put the two on top at least. Yeah, two wins that. Well, I'm I'm nickeling and diming barely here, just nickeling and diming a uh, to profitable bit of a profitable day. So far, nothing special. Could I took a two seven straight with a one and a three? I looked at that exact. I know that a exact was paying eight bucks when I checked it. Could I, could I have played the try? Probably probably not. Oh, thank you, Charles. <laughs> I I don't know about today. Really, I'm I'm kind of living in uh the land that's not really my deal today. O other than that thirteen to one winner that I did have, it would have been a great day if I would have had the exacta there, but I did not have the exacta. Other than that, I hit a seven to two winner, a thirteen dollar double, or yeah, thirteen dollar double and a sixteen dollar exacta. Oh, I did want to see if I I, I could have played that a uh, sixteen dollar exacta. I did want to see what that try played. I think that was at Aqueduct. Let's see, but I, I I'll check that when I got more time. By the way, my betting board was really good there. I, I gave the two and the, the seven the best chance there, but I'm not doing anything that the public didn't see. But I did give, I did uh, put my line on the one. He he went off at sixteen to one. I put him at five to one, and I put the three at five to one. I'm not sure what the three went off there. One did get a third, and three did get fourth, but nothing great. Let's see, this was allowance one x-rays. I don't think I'm going to have time to really do this. In fact, I think I'm going to have to start. Oh, there's a one to five favorite in this race. All right, let's see where we're at with the one to five. All right, Todd Fletcher, first time out, ran off the board and hid. I just got that race as being average, average, fastest winner of the day. 
everyone's betting the speed figure and the connections. I don't think there's a real big mystery there. Let's see. The one is actually out. Oh, wait a minute. I got I got wrong numbers here. I got to make sure that's even the right seven horse. Probably is, though. Yeah, it, it is the right. Uh, let's see. Ryan is out. So American Gentleman is the 1A. I, or four got some really nice marks. I don't, I don't know. Uh, well, he's 13 to one. I guess I'm letting that uh, race on the seven horse just scare me out the race. Even though the seven got some good marks and the four horse, or I'm sorry, the six horse has some good marks and so does the four horse. I guess uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna say you know what I don't want to deal with a one uh, two to five mystery right here. I just don't want to deal with it. The so seven three double is playing a dollar at Aqueduct. AJ horse players horse players can only bam, uh, blame themselves when they're willing to take that proposition. Right, I, I I can't feel sorry for uh, people that, that that. In fact, when people are doing that, it's even hard to listen to horse players bitch about the game when uh they're they're convinced someone gave a bad ride or cheating. If if there's a that many people that are willing to play a dollar double, uh, I, I I you know I I'm just gonna say we're not we're not playing against rocket scientists. Hey, Katherine's going with the two over there at the New York. I'm chicken shit. I'm staying out this race. I, I want to be rooting for the seven in the floor, though. Or no, uh, six in the floor. I'm sorry, six in the floor, not the seven in the floor. I'm not rooting for the one to five. And there's four horses all going uh, pretty good right here. Four horses across the track. I don't know. To me, it feels like the seven's getting the worst of this. I, I don't know why. It's It looks like the seven's been in the longest drive. Three still looks like he's sitting chilly on the damn horse. We'll, we'll see how much this seven got here. A lot of horses got a chance here, but we'll see how much the seven got. I think five's getting the best trip. Five in the inside horse, whoever that is. Uh, one might have got some interference there with the seven, depending on how close that was there. It looked like the one had some horse possibly got shut off, but it we I won't know until I see the head on right there. But they beat that one to five. I don't like route to sprint, but the way that race develops, 
I can definitely see that. There was four horses across the track dueling. Five horse kind of had the perfect position. I'm curious to see if this one really got shut out or not. Oh, that was Irad over there on the uh, five horse. Rick just got paid. Nice, Rick. Dude, and you got him at eight to one. To me, the story of this race is four horses across the track at one time. And the seven, seven to me seemed like he was driving for a lot of that, trying to not get, not a lose position of uh, being wide. Let's see, does a, uh, does the one check here? I don't know if the one really checked there. Seven came over, but I'm not, I'm not sure if the one had that much more really. Let's see this head on. Did the one have any more horse? He's in position here. Uh, you know what? He, I, I don't think he put on the brakes, but he definitely uh did he definitely kind of stopped riding there. There might be an objection here. Let's see if there's an objection with this uh one egg. Yeah, I, I I do think uh the seven got kind of a uh, uh he wanted the, he wanted the lead and there was uh, three other horses that said no way. It looked like to me that he was riding the hardest of all those horses, probably because he was the widest. They they took he he kind of. That, that's, that's what I said when, you know, these chalks are not running against any particular horses. You know, they're, they're, he's kind of, you know, he's one to five against the field. Oh, they didn't even look at that. They didn't even look at that. So they're going to leave him up for a sec second. It's official. What's up, Russ? Russ, that looks like a new guy. One and three on the Dutch. Yeah, to me, the story of that race was just the four horse speed duel. Seven, seven, God, I rad. <laughs> oh my God, well, who are these people saying one to five? Let me go get a win back. I hope there's no one in the chat room that did that. All oh, this is this is your race, Mac, right here. This is your race. You were asking about finest sound. We're getting better odds than you so far. He he's at 25 to 1 here. You're you're getting the worst of it right now. You're getting the worst of it. Although there's still 15 minutes, so we don't we still don't know where we're gonna end up. But right now, right now you're getting the worst of it. Mm -hmm. 
right? It, it, it's the four horse you're talking about, right? Finest sound. Is that who I remember? Or uh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong horse too. I think it's finest sound, right? Now, is this a big race where I watched like three different YouTube channels come out and decided to do this race and they all settled on the favorite and I was like, oh, thanks, guys. You wasted my time. <laughs> I think I watched three different videos uh, last night about uh, people talking about this race. And I'm like, oh, OK. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. Tell me. Tell me what you think. And they all landed on uh, modern uh, modern games, and I was like, "Oh, okay, thank you very much. You you wasted my time. Like I'm my own production manager. If if I came out and did a preview of a race, and I realized that that's what I was doing, I would have uploaded to YouTube. There, there's no upside. What, what's the fucking upside? Hey guys, we're gonna handicap this race for you. Oh great, we we agree with the we agree one hundred percent with the three to five shot. <laughs> what what's the fucking upside? If if they're wrong, there's no upside. If there's right, it's a, a seasoned horse players are gonna be like, oh great, dude, you you wasted my time and you came me with the the horse that I either agree with you with or I'm trying to beat. <laughs> Yes, Modern Games is uh, the chalk, three to five. But did you guys watch those same videos last night? <laughs> now, maybe they're arguing that, Paul, you don't have the racing form. This horse was five to one, and we make the morning line. <laughs> but that, that was my thought after watching those three videos. Like, great, guys. Great, guys. You, you offered me nothing. No, another horse racing channel that offered nothing. Like, I'd respect them more if they came out with my man Max Horse at 25 to 1 and, and just been completely wrong. I, I'd respect that. Okay, you 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 tried to, you spoke your case for 25 to 1. You're, you're wrong. Shit, you're going to be wrong a lot of times at 25 to 1. And I don't see a lot of content from any of these shows. So that, that was even more like, oh, you're going to jump in here? Okay. All right. I said my piece. <laughs> by the way, one of them was sponsored by Twin Spires. No, no, no real surprise there. Now one guy, one guy, one guy did come up with those two horses, but he was on that uh, two horse. I, I'll get, I will say, I will give him credit. He said, he said it, he thought it was a two horse race. He thought there was value on the two. That's right. There was one show that I did watch where he uh, he did take a stand against modern games. That's right. He he did take a stand, and like that uh, Ivar or Ivan Ivar. That's right. There, 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 there was one show that I did watch that uh, took a stand. And he even put a betting line. I think, I think he had a betting line that he thought that uh, the two should have been two to one and the five should have been lower. So he, he actually did a betting line too. So I, I will give credit on that one. And Nick, what what does each way mean? Does each may mean, way mean he can run first or second and you get 20 to 1? Or what does each way mean over there? 
I, I always see guys uh, saying they they doing it each way, but I I didn't. I, I'm guessing it's a win in place bet over here. I see Catherine is uh taking a Catherine is taking a stand th three three at Woodbine. Wait a minute, I thought you were betting the four horse over here, Mac. Now you're saying that modern games will win. Am I am I am I talking about the right race that you were looking for? I thought you were interested in the ninth race at Woodbine all today with the long shot. You're saying finest sound is your each way best. Yeah, that's the four horse. What? Hey, let me know what each way means. Is, is that is that whether he comes in first or second or first, second, and third? What, what exactly does each way mean? Each way is a, okay, N's going to help me out. Each way is a win. And a wager top three. That is if the eight to sixteen. What? Wait a minute. Each way is a win and a wager top three. That is if the eight to sixteen horses in the UK, if more than sixteen. I do not understand. I'm going to have to Google it. I do not understand what that means. An each way wager. Win wager top three. Here I'm saying win place and show. I am so lost. It's two wagers, win and the top three, if there are eight to six. Oh, if there are eight to 16 starters. I still don't quite understand it. And it's win in place if less than eight starters. Okay. And a win and top four if more than 16 starters. Ooh, I have, that's confusing. That's a lot going on right there. Wow, they're making a first-time starter the favorite on the Tapita at Gulfstream. I don't know if I like I don't man, I don't know if we've seen many maidens uh first-time starter win on the I did I did think the four horse looked a little interesting here. And a, I want to look up that August 26th race. I see a couple horses coming out of that. Let's see. This race right here that the four ran on, August 26th race, the four ran in that race, the uh, two ran on that race.
He ran on that day, but not that race. He ran on that day, but not that race. So the race that the two and the four are coming out of, that was the slowest, slowest pace of the day by far. Not, not even in the ballpark of what was good that day. This horse making a middle move into that pace, I think has a lot of upside. And this horse even, depending on how you want to look at it, if he was trying to get the lead, it was his first time out, and he got an insane slow pace to uh, run into. If he was trying to make the lead, he's probably not that good. But if he was trying to rate or do anything else that race, I think the two and the four got a little bit of a look in a really dangerous race here. That, that's who I'm going to be rooting for. I'm, I'm going to decide if I really want to do anything here, but that's what I'm going to be rooting for at the very least. That's, that's kind of the only place that I can really go. I can't really back a first-time starter. Hard for me to get excited about a horse stretching out for the first time, uh, not knowing what anyone is. That, that, those are the, that, that's the only two places I can go on the two and the four. First, second, or third. Let's see Lloyd with a boom. Let's see, Cindy's saying a couple horses look interesting, but I just don't know the track that Cindy's looking at. Six and ten is interesting to me. The three is a bet against in her maiden style there. I just don't know what track that is. See, I want to watch both of these races, but I'm still deciding if I want to uh, do anything in this. Uh, probably the only thing I can really do is a win bet on both of them if I really want to. Or uh, To me, I think all I want to do is either a win bet or sit out here. Oh, Cindy, you are looking over there at Gulfstream. Who did you like at Gulfstream then? Six and the ten is interesting, and she does not like the three. Yeah, six is a horse stretching out after two races. Dropping in class. He is dropping in class. He's making the big drop in class, and who's the ten? Ten did run on a I, well. I believe ten ran on a bad rail last race, so I could see the upside there. And shit, ten's at twenty five to one. If you if you if you even get a whimper of hope on the ten, I I suggest bet. So, like I said, if you think the horse got a ten percent chance to win that race at twenty five to one, it's a good bet. That that's that's all you need to know in my book. Let's see, they are starting to come. Oh, the one got scratched. So the one ended up getting scratched. One was taking some money, and he ended up getting scratched. Let's see, Lloyd got another hit today. Nice, Lloyd. Let's see. I could do the four and the two to win and just a two, four exact of Vox if I wanted to. That's all I can do here. Not, not too, not too, that, that, that would be pretty cheap. All right, what's up, Larry? 
Back if I know, what's up, man? You guys are definitely late to the party today. Come, coming for the late show, huh? Ah, right, Russ had a nice hit. Did Russ hit that $26,000 super, or is he just saying it was a 26? I hope he hit it. Oh, bang, bang at Pimlico. Looks like he did hit it. Three is the favorite, huh? What are they doing? A slow circle over there at Woodbine trying to get some more money in the pools? They're, they're waiting for the honorable uh, YouTube shows that uh, all landed on Modern Games there. <laughs> to tune in. To tune in so they can put their boast video up afterwards. Their highlight reel. <laughs> I can't resist sometimes. Charles loves the three at Woodbine. I think someone else said they liked the three. I think it was us. Uh, someone else liked the three at Woodbine. Was that Katharina? Katharine? Hey, big guy. I know. We're almost done. We're almost done. Oh, give me that butt. Give me that butt. Don't let daddy get my butt. No, no, daddy, get my butt. Oh, I want the scratchies. Oh, I think you gotta get a shower this weekend, buddy. Yeah, you oily. You feel a little greasy. You don't smell at all. You don't smell, but your whites are getting a little dirty. You got sticky beard from all the ice cream. Yeah, you just disheveled over here with daddy. Watch out your tail. You're right by my wheel, buddy. Oh, I know. You just uh, feeling all sorts of neglected. Let's see, Woodbine, they're still doing the hokey pokey shuffle over there. Let's see, Gulfstream, I guess I really wasn't all that interested. I did not put that bet in. Let me write no bet. That's, that's what I was thinking of, but I did not bet it. Yeah, they're waiting for the pick four money or something, aren't they, over there at uh, Woodbine. Three got a terrible break over there at Gulfstream. Terrible break on the three. I say six is off and running all by himself. One of the sprinters stretching out. Oh, that was that was uh the horse that was uh dropping uh doing the big maiden special weight drop. I think that's uh Cindy, one of Cindy's uh horses that she was interested in. 
24 and four, so he's he got an easy lead and he's getting the pace of uh, 50 and one. That is the pace where you could go wire to wire. Although the horses that are coming from behind, unless he's overriding this horse and has something, uh, it doesn't look like he is because he ne he needed to sit down already. Well, we'll see if he has something. Let's see if the horse responds. You know what? Horse seems like he's responding here. Four can't catch him. Eleven's still live here. Oh, I think that... Although Cindy did, I know she had another outside horse. Was it the 11? So that's definitely a good no bet for me. I think Cindy liked the 6 and the 8, actually. Or maybe 6 and a 10. I don't, I'm not sure who she liked. All right, so I'm, I I dodged a bullet by not betting that race. I know who who the only two horses I could have got to, but uh, let's see. Let's save this now. All right, so we got the last couple. That Woodbine race ever run? There we go. I want to watch the Woodbine race. This is a Breeders' Cup uh, win if you're in. Is that what this race is? Tom Cruise. Thought his name was Tom Cruise. Tom Tom Cruise. Oh, Cindy, you did have that race. Boy, this seems like a fast pace, but, uh... Look, here comes that turn of foot. Here comes that turn of foot. Look at the four. Ah, four's flattened out. Or get second, get second for Mac over there. I think he still would be happy with the second. Uh, it was chalk chalk over to four. Chalk chalk over finest sound. Woo, you seen that turn of foot on uh, modern games. That it that was pretty impressive. All right, add it to your highlight, highlight reel. <laughs> uh, this is a race where I wouldn't want anything to do with. I'm, I'm holding on for the 11th race. That golf stream might be my only other shot uh, to do anything here. Yeah, that was, that was pretty impressive turn of foot. I thought the four had a shot for a moment, and then he looked like a good shot for second. But the two was just able to nip him. That's the free space. That's the free space on the pick four. He 
He won that race like a free space is supposed to win, really. Yeah, five is a, that, that's a Breeders' Cup uh, win if you're in, right? Now we got to watch another short price favorite over here, but I, I didn't want to deal with this race. This is a mile and a half race, so I don't think I got to get a... Excited on the first turn around the uh, winter circle. No, no one celebrate too wildly right now if you got this uh, five horse. You got to go around again for the exacta. Let's see. Cindy says that uh, Appleby is uh, crushing uh, five for five over there at uh, Woodbine. So, Link, do you win? So, did you win that vet? I know you said Modern Day was a winner, and I know you were pretty high on the four. Is is that all you needed to do to hit that uh, bet that you did? He ran good. Your four horse ran good. I thought he was going to get second. Let's see. Three looks like he's uh, showing a little bit of a... Uh turn a foot here and three is going to be an easy winner at one to two not missing anything i know i know i sit out a lot of races uh, unlike you know but i do believe uh part of the skill of gambling is knowing when to duck and dive and sit out knowing when there's nothing there for you so all i got is 11th race over here at aqueduct and i'm done And I don't even know if there's too much upside. Well, there's some nice marked horses, but of some dangerous uh, racing here. What is this going to be? A five, five and a half, uh, six furlongs on the turf. Uh, told me easy money. I, I still don't know what you bet because you said you said modern games was an easy winner and you said finest sound. So what did you what, what are you saying was the easy money that uh, the win ticket on the modern games or do you get the paid for being third with uh Finest sound, or I, I still, don't, I've still, I still don't figure exactly what you hit. Yeah, he no, he he did say modern games would be an easy winner. I know he said that, but he was also high on the four. I'm just not sure what exactly he hit. And I'm not. I'm not asking to be a smart ass. I, ju I just don't know what the bet meant there. I, I, I honestly don't know what. Uh, I know. I know you were saying you had something with uh, the four horse at twenty to one. I don't know if all he had to do was hit the board with the each way bet. I don't know if you needed the five and the four to hit the board. I, ju I just. Uh, I, I'm. I'm ignorant to what uh, that bet was.
go to Churchill. Let's watch the Churchill race. Uh, we got a lot of time at Belmont. Kath Catherine's coming in and uh, taking over as the program director. Too easy stealing money. Let's see, Charles needs the uh, 11 over there for a pick five. Good luck, Charles. Want to add on to your Rolex day over there. Yeah, so so did the YouTubers told me. Grandma, Grandma swung. Hey, Grandma, I forgot to feed Bentley breakfast this morning. I did not realize it to 4 o'clock. Thank you very much for the Bentley fund. Bentley, we're going to be able to get you some treats, man. Grandma's worried about me losing all my money, and she still doesn't want us digging in the garbage. Take it easy, Grandma. Thank you very much. I can't. I can't handicap uh, Churchill. I've, I just got Churchill on on the other thing. We got a long time before uh, Belmont, so I'm just gonna watch that race. But I don't have the form or anything. I'll be right back too. Billy, one more race. I think we're getting Arby's tonight. Let's see, Katherine likes the five nine eleven. Who else got? I know uh Charles needs the 11 over here. Who else got some plays over here at Churchill? Let's see, Cindy's looking at the nine over there in New York. Let's see, I got plenty of time to look at New York. One more race for me. Gulfstream is done. They're in South America, right? Yeah, they're in South America. Let's see, the five in the tennis scratch.
Now these eight horses. Random is about five to one. Jay with a names play, naughty girl shoplifter, and needs some money. That all three of those go together. Let's see. Do got some first time starters that I am not going to be. I'd never have an opinion on a first time starter unless I think they're getting a perfect part of the track. I just ignore the first time starters. Let's see, three, three and six are first time starters. I'm just, I'm just going to throw in a 10% chance. Maybe I'll readjust that and give them less of a chance. I just know that I'm not going to bet them. Let's see, five will win at Churchill. Uh, I'm going to go watch Churchill. We still got a lot of time over there for the uh, last race. Oh, man. Okay, so you are you are getting a quarter of that 20 to 1, so you will be getting 5 to 1 to show. What did we get to show over here? Let me let me uh let me look and see how much better that is. Let's see what that is. I think you guys are playing a different math game. And in a lot of ways, I think your math game is a bit better than ours. So are you getting five for a dollar? Is your bets based by a dollar or is your bet based by two dollars? Our bets are based for two dollars. So for a $2 show bet where the horse could come in first, second, or third, you are getting $6.30 back. So if you would have put $10, let's see, you said you put $10 and was able to get 50 back or 10 uh, euros or whatever and get 50 back. If you would have put 10 on, on, on him to show here, you would be only getting 30 back. So, so your math, from what I'm seeing, your math is definitely better than what the show betters got here. And you, and you know that going in. For instance, you know, the five uh, being in the money was terrible for the show betters here. If the five didn't hit the board, that four horse would have paid way more than six bucks. Like, like we never know what our expectation is on a show bet because it's based on the percentage of the pool that they got. So I I would have to I would have to really be able to see what uh see what the options are and really understand that before I really know if uh someone betting like that if the if I hate it or not. I hate show betting in America. Put it that way, I hate show betting in America. I I don't uh I I I I stay there. But you guys are playing a different math game, so I honestly don't know uh if it's good or bad. I have a strong opinion about it uh, in our pools. Let's see, five got the lead, uh, 12 is chasing over there at Woodbine. Who was I rooting for? Five's a favorite. Twelve's a pretty nice price. 
Charles had an outside horse. Is it 12 or 11? Charles was alive, did it 12 or 11? I think it was 11. 10's coming, another outside horse is coming. 10 horse is gone. Ten horse is gone at six to one. Four is second at fourteen to one. Five ran third. Ten four five that came in. Ah, oh, no problem, Boulder man. Hope you had a good day, man. I know you had that four horse. Hopefully, I uh, had a bit more. You know what? I don't want to say it. Uh, Churchill, I haven't seen many races, but this route race, ever since opening day, we, we've only played it twice. I don't know if they ran three days or four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I have been thinking that the route, uh, route races have been coming off the pace in the uh, middle of the track to outside. All right, but we got 15 minutes so I can start uh, seeing uh, if I got a play here. Let's see, this one horse, four races ago, I like that race. But that that was that was at a, a route, and this is a sprint. I don't like sprint to route. I guess he got a little bump speed figure wise, but not crazy. He didn't win within three either. So I don't think those hearts, they're there. But his next couple races probably don't scare me that much. Let's see. Uh, three races ago, bad rail, early pressing day. He, he was just average match strides with the slowest winner, slow. Next race was a speed favoring day. He tried to get the lead. Last two races are got beat by the same horse. I don't know. I think uh, last race he tried to come off the pace with slow, 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 but he did get in position at the top of the stretch. I, I, I'm not sure what I think of this horse one way or another, really. Two is going to be a route to sprint. This is only a second race, so I, I, I have no idea. Maybe he prefers. I don't like route to sprint, but on this horse with only one race, who knows? He might be more of a, a sprinter than a route. I don't know. That was a closing day. He was average. Matt tried with the fastest winner. Average. Not terrible marks. Possibly could have even gave him an asterisk there. He was, he was four lengths off the lead instead of five. My definite, strict definition would have been five lengths, but I want to argue if you wanted to upgrade that race a little bit. I, I just don't know how much I think of that. Let's see, three's a first-time starter. I got nothing on him. Let's see, four, I do like that race three races ago. I thought the rail was bad, and I thought it was a stalking closing day. So I do like that race. He comes back two races ago. I thought the inside of the track was good. He had the nine hole. It was another stalking day. He went fast, average, slow. That was also a stakes race, so they kind of like what they're seeing. And then he, he drops back to uh, back to where he's supposed to be made in special weight. He was average, average, matching strides with the slowest winner. I, I, there's, there's definitely some stuff to like on him. Six is a first-time starter. Got nothing on him. Let's see. One ran at Gawstream. I don't like route to sprint, but same story with that other horse. This horse might be better suited for a sprint. I, I need running lines to know that.
Let's see. Eight definitely got some signs of life here, and he is the favorite, so I'm not pointing out anything that anyone else can't see. Let's see. Uh, three races ago, it was an inside day. He did have the good inside, but it was a stalker day. He went fast, average, average, dueling, uh, trying to go wire to wire when I think the stalkers had an advantage there. So that's a good race right there. Two races ago, I thought the rail was bad. Early pressing day, average, average, average. A nice little second there. Just wasn't good enough in a maiden special weight. Nothing's really wrong with that. And then last race, they tried him in another uh, starter stakes race before breaking his maiden, and he went too fast to win. That was at a route, but we we got we at least got two routes where he hit the board, or two sprints where he hits the board, so I'm not that worried about that. He probably looks like the favorite to me right now. Uh, this is uh, New York's last race. Aqueduct or Belmont, whatever you want to call it. Nine, that first race was a one-race sample. First time out, one-race sample. That's, that's just a useful running line to me. Comes back next race, was a little bit faster at the first call. One tick slower than the fastest winner, average slow. I got no problem with that race. Wouldn't it shock me? Let's see. I'm going to try to keep dividing my points. Let's see. How many horses I got left here? Six horses. I, I like getting my baseline. 17%. Let me just put the seven being a route to sprint. I'm going to just say 10% right now. See if I can work with that. Eight. You know what? I'm going to say that eight should be the favorite. Dude, I'm, I'm leaning towards he's an even money favorite in my head. Let's see if I can work with that. Four horse, I still think got quite a bit of upside. Let's see, I got four horses left. I'll put everyone at 10 to 1 I, I or 10% chance. I think four has a better chance than a 10% chance. I think one has a better chance than a 10% chance. Nine, I even think nine has a better chance than a 10% chance. So I either got to take some points away from the eight or hate the uh, horses that I, I'm going to hate the first time starters a little bit more. I, I know I can't bet them anyways. Let me try with that first. I think nine's actually looking like a 15% chance. I'm still giving a four a chance. Let me just, I'm playing with them, just see where I can go here. No, I think the one and I think the one and the four got a better than a thirteen percent chance. Let me put the eight at three to two. Eighteen percent chance sounds a little bit better.
How does that look? Nine to two. I think I like that. I think I like that. I think eight should be the horse to be. I'm probably looking at about three to two as fair value. Not that I bet three to two. I think the nine's about a five to one feel. Oh, I like the four. I want to play the four, but I'm not really getting uh, overpaid there. This is just a question. Do you want to take it in this situation where it's kind of a push? It's good for rebates, I guess. I don't, I don't think, let me, let me see if the, let me look at its combinations and stuff. Let me see what I can do. Eight fours paying eight bucks. I don't want no part of that. Eight ones paying two bucks or twelve bucks. Eight nines paying three bucks. Could I play tries? If I did anything with the eight on top. It'd be eight one four, and then I would just take anything that could spice up a bad exacta. Who's the longest shots? It's just blindly me playing the longest shots, trying to make something with a little bit of opinion. Let's see. Really, it'd be the seven. The three. And the six. I'm not even sure how much that will pay. I really wanted to bet the four to win. I could do that if I wanted to do that. Are you or is there any exact as that are I'm right now I'm just writing in different directions I could go and still use the horse that I think has the best shot. Let's see, you could play the eight on top of the exact as that might matter. Three, six, and seven. If eight proves to be much the best, sometimes the worst horses can get second. That happens all the time. Actually, the three and the six are first-time starters. I'm trying to talk myself into doing something here. I can still do the four horse to win. I'm going to play around in this race a little bit. I don't know if this is great, but I'm, I'm, Three, six, and seven, and third. Four, five, six, 
Ford does have to improve to beat this horse. I was, I was going to see if I want to put four on top of some exact, because I think I just want the four to win. That's it. Yeah, we'll see. If the eight wins, we'll see if one of these bets. I'm, I'm really asking to get lucky in the exact or to try. I can't play an eight, one, eight, four exact. That, that's what I like there. The horses that I like are one, four, eight. That exact is trash. I'm trying to spice it up, but I need horses that I don't like in third. It's just a situational bet that I'm playing with. Uh, I thought Four's only chance is if he proves to be faster and really gets to relax. I don't think he can outdo the eight. Oh, and they're not, he's not really putting fractions on them either. Don't, don't let this nine hang around. Come on with this six. Bring this six a little bit. Let me feel like I got an out here. Yeah, I don't got an out. Come on, eight, four. Do I got the, I don't got the two for third. Well, I knew what I was trying to do. I I said I needed. I was playing that bad. I need to get lucky for third. I I you know I could can't play an eight four exacta that I'm getting back uh five dollars on that exacta. I'm not even sure if the because we don't get to see uh the tries. I'm not even sure if these tries would have been great. I'm curious to see what the two uh, pays uh, in the try, the 842, but was it 842 or 849? I kind of had a perfect betting board, by the way. I, I got the eight as my top choice. Four is my second choice, and the nine and the one as my third choice. But I don't think that try pays anything. I thought I needed something closer to 20 to one, 15 to 1 or higher to boost up that uh, try. Oh, MKT, you're allowed to see it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that, that's definitely. I, I did the right play. Can can you tell me what the three, the six, or the seven was paying? Were, were they all paying about $30 or $40 or more for 50 cents? If it came in 8-4 with any of those uh, six, three, seven? Yeah, the eight ninety is there. There's no way if that if that's the right payoff for fifty cents. No, I, I, I it, it was either that or sit out. And with that being the last play of the day, and I'm up a little bit, and I, you know, I just I just threw a little bit in. If the eight four was paying fifteen or over. I wonder if I would have just took that, but I, I seen it. I think I, when I seen it, it was paying eight bucks and I didn't think that that was going to go down at all. Or I didn't think it would go up, 
up. I need it to go up, not down. The, oh, the lowest was 846 for 26 bucks for, okay, that's the lowest. You know what, I'm, a, I, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a bet that I'm working on. I, I wanted to get a little bit of action. I could have, uh, like I said, sat out. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of proud of the handicapping there. I'm not saying that I did a great job uh, landing on the two favorites, but, you know, understanding my position, understanding what I needed to do to try to extract any money out of that race. If, if there was a race or two more, I probably would have sat out. So, but anyways, guys, oh, there's an inquiry here, though. You know what? I don't need to see the inquiry either way. Whether they take them up or leave them down, I don't know if I really care. Let's see if we can see it real quick. They're showing the video real quick. I think two's on the rail for... I don't know. I, I can't tell there. Did two have a hole? Let's blow this up. I don't know what the four could have done because eight's forcing the four over. I don't think they do anything here. My bet is they do nothing here. I don't think I don't think they want to take down the four, and I don't think they want to really take down the eight because I would look at it like does does the eight force the four to go in? No one has any room here. I just say this is bad luck. I, I don't I don't really think anyone's at fault there. I don't think they take this down. No, no, I'm gonna hang out just to see if they take this down. <laughs> I don't think they take it down. I really don't. Yeah, the four comes over, but the eight wasn't giving the four any room. I don't know. To to me, if I was lodging the objection, I'd lodge it against everyone. Yeah, I tuned into that show for like two minutes, but when I didn't see Jared, I uh, I went to another, I started uh, going down the rabbit hole on YouTube. Does anyone think they take this uh, horse down? I really don't think they take him down. Cindy says no change. I, I, that, I, I just don't think that. There was really ever a hole there. I, I think that it gets messy with the Ada coming over on the four. I, I, the four didn't really look like, I, I just don't see how they take this down. But anyways, guys, as of now, I do not plan on doing a show tomorrow. I, I don't, unless I all of a sudden just decide to wake up or I can't sleep tonight. I doubt it if I do any handicapping. I, I, I haven't even downloaded a form now. So I'm probably not going to do a show uh, tomorrow. But who knows, if you guys got your alerts, may, who knows, maybe if I got enough energy. I think they left it up, didn't they? They made it official, but I didn't see the board. I think they left it up. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. If you guys are playing other tracks, good luck. Uh, probably Thursday of next week, unless I, uh, like I said, unless I really start to mark up. Yeah, they left it up. And you were right about the $8.90 for the try, so there's no way I want to play that. I did the only thing I could other than sit out there. But uh, have a good one, everyone. Stay safe out there until uh, we see each other again.